40, that is, I don't know, probably a lot. Oh wow! Hello everybody! Welcome back to Outer Wilds. Out of those wilds. Out out of, I am gonna out of those wilds so so wildly. What am I talking about? We're off to a great start today. Hi! <laughs> Hi everyone, how's it going? Happy Sunday! I hope everyone's had a good weekend. Welcome on oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's that's a hype train thing. <laughs> Thank you so much for the hype train, what? Thank you! Oh my goodness, a hype for probably a whole stream of me failing to spot things that are probably really obvious. I have a feeling, I've got a horrible sinking feeling that this stream is going to involve a lot of me not seeing things, but I don't know, I'm, I'm still gonna try my best. I'm, I am I will expect the worst and be pleasantly surprised if things go well, but uh, I, this is, uh, I've, I really love this game, but I've kind of been dreading the stream a little bit, 
because of the fact that I know what I have to do, but I have no idea how <laughs> to do it or to find it. So uh, it's gonna be interesting. Uh, we'll probably, if I get stuck for a while, we'll probably take a break and I will attempt to land on the station outside the sun, but uh, I don't know. We'll see how it goes either way. <laughs> but hi, everybody. That's better. Welcome in. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Another sub. Thank you. Hold on. Let me go from the top. Let me go from the start. <laughs> Artem, hello. Thank you for the prime sub before I even started the stream. <laughs> You jump scared me as I was setting up because the, the alert happened before I clicked to go live, and I was like, "Did I do something wrong? Did I am I have I accidentally been live this whole time?" But I, I wasn't. I was. <laughs> but thank you for the prime sub. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Rika. Hello, Bob. Congratulations on the first, and also thank you for the the forty month tier two sub as well. That is they're probably a lot. It is a lot. Thank you for the lurk. I hope you have fun gaming and Lumsev, hello welcome welcome thank you for feeding the abyss with points uh brie hello welcome welcome oh yeah Lumsev, i hope your your work goes well tomorrow <laughs> oh that's that's always the worst part like when you have a really long break and then it's like well now the break's over it's it's time to return back to the grind back <laughs> back to work the, the fun is over but I hope you had a, a great vacation. And also, Kale, thank you so much for the 15 months as well. Welcome, welcome. And also, I love that you just caught up on the VODs a couple hours ago. It's it's perfect timing, oh my goodness. <laughs> it was meant to be. Grace, no, hello, welcome, welcome. Uh, I, I figure you will probably be avoiding spoilers. <laughs> yes, you're lurking again, but thank you for the lurk. Thank you so much. It's such a good game, it's so good. It is so good. I I recommend it so much. It's really good. And then thank you so much, everyone, for all the, the bits and the, starting the hype train. What is happening? And Gambler, hello. Thank you for the Prime sub as well for 23 months. Oh, my goodness. You're, you're nearly at the two-year mark. Wow. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, I can always ask for a very gentle nudge. Yeah, I think I'll do that if, if I do feel like I'm getting super stuck. But I'm going to give it the the best try that I can I'm I, you know me I'm not a quitter I will do the same thing for an hour and still keep going I'm I'm persistent I'm stubborn I may I may not be the most observant but I'm persistent at least <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna try my best and Zarian hello yes I saw you in Yukon's chat earlier <laughs> I love that I, I always love when I go to another stream and I, I see people I recognize and it's just like, oh, hey, I see you also have good taste. Good to see. <laughs> and Akira, hello. Thank you for the snake laugh and the head pat. Welcome, welcome. Oh, you did. Uh, you got back from a family trip, honeymoon, wedding photo shoot in Italy. <gasps> that sounds so nice, though. Tiring, but a good tiring. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you had a good time, though. I'm glad it went well. Yeah, everyone keeps telling you you need to play it and not look anything up. Yes, th this game is best played with the least knowledge of it as possible. Like, as little knowledge as possible. Like, if... I I'd even, like, recommend not reading the, st the full store page description because even that kind of mentions stuff that is, like, it's a really nice discovery in the game. But yeah, thank you so much for stopping in and have a good luck. Do not listen, there'll be spoilers abound. But yeah, oh, Artem, you finished Hollow Knight today. Oh, wait, a sequel for Hollow Knight? Ooh, I tell, I'll have to, I need to tell Xander about that. I need to tell my brother about that. He, he loves Hollow Knight. But oh my goodness, thank you so much for the level two hype train. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yes, uh, at, at least I get confirmation that yes, you do exist, not just in my chat. Yeah, that's the nice, the, the nicest point, like see, pe seeing people around and it's like, oh, so you do other streams, you, you visit other streamers too, and you still come back to mine. Oh, the best feeling. Uh, do not mention Silk Song to Hollow Knight fans. Hollow Knight sequel is a meme. Ah, I see you. 
Oh, now I definitely have to tell Xander about it then. If, if it's just a meme, I'd... <laughs> no, actually, that would be really mean. Considering how much he's suffering with his wisdom teeth stuff, I'm, I'm not going to do that to him. <laughs> Oh, that's that's an awful meme, though. I love it. <laughs> oh, if I want a much less spoilery Outer Wilds thoughts, uh, oh, Co Carnage. <gasps> Ooh, I know that. I know that name. I should I should check that out. I'd be down to check that out. But yeah, I still want to. I still feel like there's more to find here. There's still so many little gaps that I need to fill in with what's going on. Oh, he 100% knows. Is Xander? Oh, yeah, th he probably already knows the meme if it's a if it's an ongoing thing. <laughs> but I'd still do it anyway. I'd just be like, hey, uh, really big news. Did you know? <laughs> oh, I'd be able to get him back for the times he's these nuts joked me. Oh, no. Also, if I found the expired mallow, I haven't. I still haven't. <laughs> I still gotta find that too. I don't know, like... I, I need to just like have marshmallows at every single campsite, I guess. But I, I need to figure that out too. But ah, uh, the, the Co-Carnage Thoughts video is a way to explain or get people interested in the game without spoiling anything. <gasps> That's so good! Ooh! Oh, I looked right at it, like... <laughs> ah! Well, um, I guess I'll be trying for that again. <laughs> I'm very good at this game, as you can probably tell. I need to look around more. I need to look around the, the marshmallows and the campsites more. I'm I'm a very smart person. But like, as I said, I'm... I feel like I'm good at piecing together clues and working things out. But I'm really not the most observant. I'm very good at not spotting things, even with my glasses on. <laughs> so it's going to be very interesting. Oh, oh, and Akira, thank you for the dictionary narration and hydrate. Let me get my dictionary out. We've got the letter J. Let's see what our word of the day is. Where are the J's? Here are the J's. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the dictionary narration, Redeem. The word we have is proof that this is a British dictionary. Uh, the word we have is job center. It's a noun. Job center. In brackets, in the UK. A government office in a local area which gives out benefits and information about available jobs to unemployed people. Job center. All one word. It is the job center. But yes, what a what a word to get. What's after it? The one under the one after it is jobless. So, oh, and then job lot, job seeker, and job seeker's allowance. Oh, job seeker's allowance goes with it as well because job seeker's allowance noun British, a benefit paid by the state to a person who is unemployed and looking for work. That is not a thing anymore. I'm pretty sure everything has changed to universal credit here, which is basically. The government going, we don't want to pay out as much as many benefits as before, so we're going to change the whole benefit system and make it cost way more than it would have cost to just give the benefits out in the first place. But it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> anyway, back to round a while. I always love how I'm like, every time I'm like, I want my streams to be like really comfy. I don't want to get too deep into like difficult topics and then every now and then I'll just have a, a tiny five second rant about Britain <laughs> the government and then I'm like well I, d I don't want to get into this so let's move on but also I'm, I'm just gonna have a little grumble <laughs> but yeah I'm really excited to get back to this because it's it's very clear I need to figure out what I'm missing in the second area I need to like remember the names of the areas it's it's harder to remember because I can't read the signs. So I have to go by like the names that are in my ship log. But I'm, I keep forgetting what they're called. So I'm just like area one is like the closest to where I drop in. 
Area 2 is the next one along where it's all like on the stilts above the water. Area 3 is the one where it's all like along the edges on that right hand channel. And then Area 4 is where the, the vault bit is. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, I missed last stream, but you can finally say it was very cool I, <laughs> I, that I found and did the blue fire nap as soon as I did. And that I found out walking away from the artifact within a half hour. I've got to say, that is like the funniest thing to me. Like getting that knowledge of the matrix and how that works. The fact that I accidentally found that out so early on in the DLC, I think that helped me so much. That like, that made everything so much easier for me than if I didn't know that all this time. I can't imagine playing through everything without like having that knowledge. I feel so proud of myself for like for for my silly thought of like well if i die when the artifact goes out what if i just leave the artifact behind <laughs> like it worked out so beautifully and it's another reason why i love this game it's like this game rewards you for doing silly things even like blowing yourself up like <laughs> like if i if i when i found the the artifact prototype and i was like that room was blasted open I bet this artifact explodes and it did I was I was happy about that and I got rewarded for that with an achievement too but yeah the napping thing was uh the napping was about like I I didn't really know what I was doing there like I got lucky with that as well because I just like remembered the one reel where it looked like they were all like getting into the things around the fire and then they all just like went into a coma so I was like well what if what if I also go into a coma but temporarily <laughs> and it worked out so well I I feel like a lot of my discoveries in this I've not discovered things the way I should have I've discovered them by doing silly things and being rewarded for it and that's my favorite thing to do I love it yeah, oh, you were, you were very impressed by my willingness to immediately blow myself up with the prototype. Well, I was excited about that. As soon as I had that thought, I was like, well, now I have to test it for science. I must. <laughs> I, if you give me a silly thing that I can try and do, you can bet I'm going to try that out because that's fun. Yeah, the crazy part is I hopped in the water without the artifact earlier the stream, which already proved that dropping it doesn't save me, but then I forgot and did it again. <laughs> no, it's like I knew then that like jumping in the water would do it, but I, I also still wanted to be like, well, I, I, I can still keep it safe. I don't technically need it. It was like the, st the most silly idea. I don't even know what I was expecting to happen because it was so dark. I was just like wandering into darkness anyway. Like, I was, I didn't know where I was going. I couldn't see anything. I got, like, <laughs> Eight. I got really lucky. It was so silly. But uh, it, in the best kind of way. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm so amused at the fact that I did discover that. But also, I didn't discover dropping out into the loading void. That one I had to find out the way it's intended. And I'm guessing, like, however the alarm system works, I've not figured that out either. So I'm probably going to need to know what's in, th what's down the well to teach me how to turn off those alarms, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it's going to be another bug thing, because the first area gave me a bug. And that bug showed the matrix, and the matrix was how I found the, the bridge and how to get over there, so that was the first one. And then the second one was the loading screen dropping into the abyss. And then I ended up over by the raft and got the second one. So I think the third one is going to give me a glitch that's going to show me how to get past the alarm bridge without triggering the alarms. At least I'm hoping uh, <laughs> it's going by that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did mention that it felt like a loading screen before. Yeah, I was like... It felt like that. It felt like there was like a moment of everything was black and then it was like the next area, which was like my first thought of like combining that with my matrix view that it was 
like a, a simulation or something. I was so happy when I was right. I was also very amused by the fact that I was calling it The Matrix as a joke, and then I was like, wait, it kind of is. It, th this genuinely kind of is like The Matrix. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, oh, Bree, you did it by mistake really early. Oh, something about entering the pitch dark told you to snuff out the four flames of the raft. Yeah, that would make sense as well. I, I totally can understand. That's the, that's the kind of leap of logic that I would make also. Also, I realized I did the dictionary entry and I forgot to actually hydrate too and it's been like 10 minutes now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Thank you for the hydrate, Akira. <laughs> I've just got so excited talking about Outer Wilds. I love this game. I mean, open that up. There we go. And Suzume, hello. Hello from Ofkai again. You just left the maid cafe with a friend. Friend? Which friend? Also, I hope the maid cafe was fun. I hope you had a good time with that. Uh, we had a we had a Studio Elan Burpro collaborative uh, panel yesterday at Ofkai Expo, and it was so much fun. But I felt like the time just flew. We had like a little Q and A session where you could just ask us questions, and we would attempt to answer whilst talking over each other because there was like five seconds delay. <laughs> I felt so bad. I felt so guilty. I thought I was like talking over everybody, but I just really wanted to answer the questions. <laughs> but it was really fun and the time just flew. The time went so fast. I sounded like a concerned mother with the witch friend. Now I'm curious. I'm curious. I want to know how things are going. I love hearing people's recounts of Ofkai. I'm like living vicariously through everyone else who's going because of not being able to go myself. I just... The more I see about it, the more I'm just like, oh, I wish I was there too. One day. And I went in with a friend and made a friend there too. Oh, that's so good. Yes, Yuri made, Yuri fan made. Best kind of maid to find at a maid cafe. But, uh, right, what, what was I going to talk about? Oh, I was talking about the panel. Yeah, there were some really nice Studio Elan announcements. And there's two new games that have been announced there as well, which are exciting. But I'll probably talk about that on Tuesday, on Twofold Tuesday. The, the designated yapping about Yuri time. <laughs> But uh, but I'm excited to play some more Outer Wilds too. I really hope I can figure out what I'm doing. I think my my plan of action is I just kind of need to really look around the second area because I haven't dedicated as much time to just exploring that area as I have like with the other areas. Like I've done so much looking around in the third area and then the first area didn't really have much except for like what's past the fireplace. So I, I need to look around area two, electric boogaloo. Oh, gotta go moderate Loxley stream. Oh, please say hi to him from me as well. <laughs> but thank you for stopping in and thank you for resubbing. I hope things go well. Oh, and Gambler, for the pronouns, it is, hold on, if you do exclamation point pronouns, it should give a link to the site. Hold on, I'm, I'm just seeing. Yeah, exclamation point pronouns will give a link to the site, you just link that with your Twitch account and put your pronouns in, and then it'll show up on the screen. <laughs> it's a really, really nice little little addition, little plugin. I like it a lot because I I, I always like to no, I, I never want to like accidentally misgender somebody. <laughs> but it's a really, really nice addition. And I, I feel like a lot of streamers are using it as well now. It's very nice. But yes, I think my first plan of action today is going to be just exploring more of Area 2. Just having a look around. The only thing I've been thinking of through the week, like I've been trying to think all week about what I could do and I have no idea. And my only other thought is that there's like that other alarm down a long hallway. I think I need to experiment with that and see if I can learn more stuff about the alarms through that. We will see. <laughs> right.
right, let us resume. <laughs> Wake me up. There goes the probe. Is it gonna be this one? Marshmallow on a stick? No. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Got a little flask. Got a wrench. Let's start with our trusty crunchy marshmallow. Before I go, go. Wake me up. Wake me up inside. Wake me up when September ends. Right. Actually, first thing I want to do is... I, they're, they're, I've got loads of marshmallows in here. I have so many marshmallows, like, in my ship. I wish I could just eat them. I wish I could just eat them all right here. But alas, I don't have a campfire on my ship. That's probably a good thing, <laughs> considering how much wood there is. But yeah, what are the official names for the areas? Okay, the first one is... Oh no, that's the, that's the third one. Is that the third one? Yeah, that's the one with the large tree. Uh, so this is the one that's from the gorge. Um, that's the the endless canyon. Starlit Cove. Yeah, that's the one with the well in the middle, and the alarm. This is the one I need to find out more about. It's Starlit Cove. That's actually such a cute name as well. The secret well. I need. I know. I need to. How do I do that? Ah. There you are. You're going along. You. I don't know where the, they're walking. Where are you walking? We go here, drop off the... Give them that. Drop that off. Where the heck is this? It's so dark too. I, I wish I could see more. It's like, I'm pretty sure it's a different raft. I need to find like a different raft point. I'm pretty sure. I, I don't think the raft I've been taking around all of the areas is in the right place, because that looked like very in the middle of everything. But I haven't seen a spot where there can be a, a raft, so... Oh, and what was the other area called? That The other one is Shrouded Woodlands. Yeah, that's, that's the one where I just waited for them all to die and then ran over and got lost multiple times <laughs> finding the bridge. Oh, and I forgot to mark the stranger. There we go. Right, we're gonna start with more exploration of area two. That is my plan. That is my plan. I <laughs> didn't even go to the concert. I, I know, I was too scared. I tried once and they, they blew out my flames, so... I, it was a little scary. I just left them to it. <laughs> Oh, you've been released by Loxley, who also says hi. We'll probably raid in later. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> I'm so glad. But, oh, thank you. Thank you for stopping in, but also just... You just have two windows open. <laughs> the multi-stream approach. So where's the... There it is. I came at a weird angle this time. fast. Should be okay. I'm like upside down. Oh, do a little roll. There. Look. Perfect. Perfect. Flawless. A good start. I always feel like having a, a good landing for my first ship venture always fills me with more confidence than everything else. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the artifact from here because I didn't spot anywhere to get an artifact in the second area, I don't think. So I'm picking up the one from here. 
to take with me. And then we're going to pop in the second area and have a little explore. Haha, <laughs> mine. Uh, he'll drop out right away though because he wants to play Outer Worlds at some point. Oh, yeah, that's that's fully understandable. It's it's so funny. Like I, playing this game, I'm doing like the opposite of what any streamer who's trying to grow would do. Because I'll be like, "Hey, welcome to the stream. If you want to play this game, stop watching." <laughs> but it's just such a such an amazing experience, like to just discover everything by yourself without knowing anything. It's like the best discoveries. Okay. Area two. I need to actually be picked up here. Let's see. I'm, I'm remembering how to drive at least. Now you have to remember that you're not watching a VOD and you can actually interact. Oh my goodness. I, I usually have the opposite problem. Uh, I, I really like watching streams when I'm working and doing other things and then just occasionally commenting. But a lot of the time, like when I miss streams for things I'm interested in, I'll put a VOD on and then the streamer will say something interesting. I will try and reply and then I'll realize it's not live and I can't say anything. <laughs> Right, where is the planet? You are here. I'm. I find it so funny how I discovered some things I shouldn't have discovered really quickly, but it took me forever to realize that the right passage was the one with the planet on it. Like, <laughs> it took me so long to realize. I was just pulling them all out. I'm still so curious about this. Have a marshmallow first. And now. And now I sleep. And now we explore. Time to have a look around everywhere. Time to remember I don't have my jetpack. <laughs> right, here we are. Let's get some candles lit. Right. I need to I need to go around and light up the dock there. So I can at least get that raft, I think. Actually no, I don't I don't think I need to. Especially not if I'm doing like a little exploration run. And I haven't noticed any other green lights around. I haven't noticed any people roaming. Whereas the other areas I could see the little lights as they were like walking around on the upper floors. I don't think I've seen them around here, so I think I'm safe to have a look around, at least. I'm guessing if I stay away from the... the well? And the alarms? Maybe? Oh. We started moving. Ah, oh, the fact that I found out there's a passage at all was great. Yeah, I how did how did I find that in the first place? I don't I don't remember how I found it in the first place, but the first time I was trying, I was just pulling all of the lanterns out. How did I? I don't even remember. I need to go back. I need to go back in my vods to have a look and try and remember what I did. It's been a million years now. Uh, the aesthetic of the strangers is kind of reminiscent of the Hyder people in some ways. Similar uses of shapes. Haha. -ha. Boom. Put the lights out so I can go through the door. Yeah, I'm not seeing any other green lights around, so I'm I'm feeling confident that I'm I'm not gonna be jump scared by an owl that looks like they're going to eat me and then blows my candle out. Thank you. Just lighting those again so I have some light. Hmm. A 
Okay, never mind. I don't know where I am right now. Right, lift. Right, yeah, this lift goes down. Let's go have a look. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Kale, this is the kind of game that's so easy to accidentally spoil. But uh, that's that's why I've got uh, a lovely mod team who have played the game. And I've got my chat on a, a four second delay before I see it. Like I've opened a little incognito pop out chat, so I don't see the messages until four seconds after they're posted. So I can, <laughs> so if you accidentally post a spoiler, it can get deleted before I see it, which is nice. Oh yeah, I found it by exploring the marsh building after it was flooded. Oh yeah, because all of the lanterns went out then because all it all went out because of the flooding, and I noticed the passageway. Oh, I remember now. Thank you. Right, so this is the way to get to the well. But there's a big old alarm there, so I don't think I want to. What else is around here? Uh, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to leave my artifact behind over here. Let's pop into the matrix for a second. Try and have a look around. See if there's anything I can spot. Yeah, there's there's the the big old alarm. I like that I can see the the range of the alarm from here though. Right, where could there be? A spot for a raft. Like over that side? Like over on the opposite side? How would I get there? Hmm. Yeah, this is blocked off around here. I wouldn't be able to get there from here. Where is that? That's like. Hmm. I'm trying to like mentally project this into my mind. The only place I can see is like down here, where there possibly could be a spot for a raft. I am not sure. I can't see. This was a mistake. Where'd I put my... Okay, it's up here. <laughs> That's a moment of... Oh, I may have made a mistake. Where did I put my artifact? Alright, let's go back. Go back up. Ah, oh, it just occurred to you that light-based door mechanics actually make some amount of sense as an emergency measure. Yeah, uh, power fails, all doors open, no blocked exits. Uh, but the problem here is that it's like, they're like candles. And lamps. Well, I, I guess it does kind of make sense like that. ba -bum. How are the denizens supposed to leave the matrix chamber with the secret panel closed? Yeah, that's true. How did it close in the first place, actually, if they were all in there? Very... It, that's interesting to think about, actually. Hold on. Very mysterious. Although I get the impression... The way things were set up, the way they, like, strapped themselves in there... Gives me the impression that they weren't planning on leaving they like fully like they they like they were like belted into those things i think they set themselves up there to die but in the projection i don't know okay this is how i can get the the other raft but that's not the raft i want i want a different raft there's still so much to think about. Oh. oh, there goes the dam. Ho dam. Right, and then... Oh, and then round here was where the other alarm was. Okay, there's the, the first lot dying. I, I hate that I can hear that from here. That feels slightly devastating. Yep, there. Oh. Oh, 
that's so cool that everything starts swaying as well when the when the tower starts like falling because the tower doesn't actually fall until like right before the sun explodes like a couple minutes if that i think it was actually like when the sun started exploding like the final couple of minutes but it was very much slanted after that. It's all tilting. I wonder if that actually changes things in here, because I I felt the tilting. I wonder if that changes, like, the layout of things in here. Hmm. Oh, and now the, the creepy music started. Here we go. <laughs> Welcome to Pisa. Yeah, because this, there's the little no entry. Ba -bum. But I don't know how to read. Like, I'm presuming it's a no entry sign, but I don't know their language, so, uh. I don't know what it says. Yeah, and then through here. Yeah, it's through here. That's where the other alarm. Oh, yep. Yeah. But if I leave this behind. And I go matrix mode, I can just get... I can't see. I shouldn't do this. I shouldn't do this. Wait, I could... I, oh, I wonder if... Oh, I can't see anything, though. I wonder if the conceal would... Oh, oh this is terrifying. No, 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 no. No, the alarm's not going off. It's fine. It's okay. I need to figure out a way to come down here that is safe. Okay, I put the artifact here. I know it is a straight line. Please let me out of the bubble. <gasps> I did it. I got out of the bubble. Okay. Okay, that was terrifying. <laughs> But yeah, it doesn't spot me like this. I, I guess because it is just like fully dark down here. But how am I meant to, how am I meant to do that? Wait, hold on. Oh, oh my. Uh, 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 I found the raft. I found the raft, but I don't have my artifact with me. Oh no, I'm too scared to do this. Oh, but I guess like I know that when I'm behind it, it's not gonna be able to see me because I can see the range is it's only like the entrance. That's like a really a small beam, actually. I think I can do this. I if I just I, I know the direction I have to walk in, I just need to trust myself. Like I did just now, which was completely terrifying. Also, noob destroyer 36. Hello, welcome in! Welcome, I love that you joined me as I was walking into the void. And then out of the void. But welcome. And thank you for the hydrate as well and the head pack. Let me sip for courage. I love the music and the sound design every time I'm like glitching out of the, the projection. But yeah, they can't see me because I'm guessing because it's pitch black. But now I need to figure out how to get back up the stairs. It's here. Okay. Okay. I know what I got to do. I'm just really scared. Do I do anything? Okay. There's like, there's like a gate at the end. There's like a fence at the end. I think I'm going to be okay. I'm going just straight forwards. Nope, that's not safe. Oh, oh, oh. I'm safe. I'm behind it. Oh. <laughs> Why? That's so scary. That I think I find that scarier than a lot of the other stuff in this. Like the walking in the dark, not knowing if I'm going in the right direction. Like 
I can be confident I'm going in the right direction and there's still part of me that's going, well, maybe I'm just about to walk off the edge. I, oh, oh, I found the, th <laughs> I found it. So now, which direction, oh, which direction do I go in? Right, I dropped it off. Oh, is this, <gasps> this is where the, this is where the thing was handed over. So I keep going this way. No, that's like the end of the line. I turn around. This is where it was handed off, so now I know... I'm going this way. It's gonna be like... up here somewhere. Yes, where is it? I'm going really, really slowly. I'm so scared. And it's gonna be in this... There, it's gonna be here. It's gonna be here. It is! Oh, I found it! I found it! I found it! I thought this was gonna take me so much longer than it did. I... I, I was struggling over this for so long. I thought this was gonna take me all stream. Genuinely. Oh. And now this is where I'm gonna be able to turn off lights around the alarm. Oh, but it's still gonna be so dark. Oh. Why, why is there like a howling? I hear a chain. I hear lifts. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, the tower's falling even more. I think it's too late. It's too late to do anything. There we go. I'm, oh, I'm awake again. Now I gotta try to get out of here. But oh, progress, progress. I love to see it. We love to see it. And now the, the music's gonna start soon, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there it is. There's the sun exploding. But if I, oh, if, if I can, if I go from the fourth area, or from the third area, from the gorge, if I go from the gorge to get there, then that, that would buy me a little bit of extra time to do everything I need to there, to like rush down the well maybe. I'd be really pushing it for time. But I, oh, that felt good though. I've, I've made progress. I, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna relax here now for a little bit. I'm like, I don't, I don't even care. I've, I've, I'm so happy I found that. <laughs> so now I know how to turn off the alarm or like turn off the lights around the alarm for the well. Whoa. And that's actually like, that's really close to the entrance of the second area. So I think if I, if I rush in there, I build the dock so I can get there from the other areas. I quickly turn off the lights for the alarm and the well. And then if I hot foot it out of there and head back to the gorge, then that might, that might work out quite well. Maybe, I'm trying to plan it out in my head and I, I don't know, I need to, I need to try more stuff. Definitely need to try more stuff out, but that felt good to discover. I'm gonna have some monster. Oh, and Teffy, hello! Hi, welcome, welcome. Oh, I'm so glad you got to join as I'm like being smart and discovering things. Oh my goodness, I genuinely, after last week, and having no idea what to do there, I thought that was gonna take me so long. I'm so happy. I'm so, I'm so happy. The, the power of a good night's sleep. Although I say that, I say a good night's sleep. I didn't get to sleep until like 7 a.m. I think, but because it was Sunday, I just uh, slept in until the early afternoon. <laughs> 
But yeah, I was I was so tired last night. I was fully intending to have an early night. And then we did the Verpro panel at uh, Off Guy Expo. And then I was lying in bed and I was like so adrenaline pumped because of how fun it was. And I was like, I'm not gonna sleep yet. I don't think I'm falling asleep yet. Yeah, there we go. Da -da -da. Yep, alarm bell when it sees me. I have the information now. I know how to extinguish that. Okay, so the question now is, do I immediately go back there? Or do I try for a silly achievement or something? Hmm, because there's, there's still a few achievements I don't have. Uh, I do want to try and land on the sun station. I do want to try and launch the the model rocket into the sun. Though I've tried that a few times, I'm not very good at controlling that thing. Uh, what else was there? What did I want to do? I don't, I don't know. I think I did most of the ones I did want to do. You know what? I'm gonna give the sun station a little try. Just like one attempt before I go back to the stranger. I'll just have like one little attempt to try and land on <laughs> the sun station. It's right there. Look, I can see it. It's around the other side now. Oh, but if I if I go around like this way. Maybe I can catch it as it comes back around. Maybe. This is like incredibly silly of me. Oh, there it is. I'm so scared of getting too close to the sun. I've done it so many times. Ugh. I'm going to fall into the sun, I think. It's just going around like that way. I can use this to my advantage. Just have the sun here so I know, like, what speed I'm going at. I don't know if it'll let me lock on to the sun station. I think I'd have to get closer to even attempt it. Right away from the sun for a second. Okay, there it is. Can I, like, lock onto it? No, I can't lock onto it. It's going to be like, oh no, I'm going too fast. I'm going, I'm going right into the sun. Goodbye. Goodbye. But yeah, if I can find the right spot, it's always going around the same path. If I can just get close enough to the sun and not be dragged into the sun. Oh, that's, that's the hardest part. It's, I'm going to be like pulled into the sun no matter what I do. It's getting the timing right. Okay, I know I said one try. Uh, one more try. <laughs> One more try, just a, a brief, uh, brief flammable interlude. And then I'll go back to the stranger. But I want to give it a try at least. Yes, yeah, like, I think the problem is because like when you get closer to the sun as well, it starts uh, trying to pull you in a bit. Like, once you get into, like, the, the orbit of the sun, it starts trying to, like, drive you towards it. I'm going to go very slow. Very slow, just 100, 100 meters a second. Very, very slow. Because I'm, like, I speed up as I get closer to it as well. Oh, I'm going to... Okay, I see the, the station. What if I just go really fast? No, that's the silly idea. Like, really fast, but like skirting the edge of the sun. I don't think this is the right approach at all. Oh, I see it! There it is! There's the sun station. I'm very... I'm, I'm going further away from the sun now, though. So let's go this way. going maybe too fast.
Will it count if I just like crash into it? Okay, no, I'm too fast to crash into it too. I can crash into the sun though. I think I'm about to. Maybe. Oh, I didn't. Oh. It's still not quite quite working. I'm I'm like I'm too far away from the sun because I'm too scared. But because of that, I'm not able to get close enough to the, the station. Oh, it's so hot. 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 And I'm going too far away again. I'm, I'm like, I, I keep overshooting it. I can't. I'm, I'm getting too close before the thing's there. Yeah, I'm, I'm way off now. It's so difficult. Oh, this might be the kind of thing I end up doing in my own time. Like, off stream, I'll just spend, like, an entire day attempting to land on the sun station, but I'll, like, record myself while I do it and just do, like, the winning. Like, when I actually succeeded it, I'll just be like, hey, check this out, I did it first try. Oh, hey, that's the quantum moon! Hi! Hello! Didn't expect to see you here. I don't need, I don't need, I don't need the quantum moon to be here, it's fine. But yeah, I think I'm I'm just really bad at judging speeds and distance and everything else. I'm 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 like Emergency Scout recall activated. Nice. Oh, it's like ooh, it's there. No, I'm gonna hit the sun, I'm gonna hit the sun. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh, this is really warm. It's a little spicy. Extremely warm. Look at that giant Cheeto. And it's like I always move away from the sun as the station gets closer. I've got the timing wrong. I need to be like here. And go like this. <laughs> what am I doing? No, and I'm moving away from it again. No, that was so close. It's right there. Oh, you know what? Sun, just consume me. I want to go back to the stranger. There we go. There we go. I, I, I gave it a shot. <laughs> I gave it a try. <laughs> it got too warm for me. It was simply too warm. <laughs> this is how you cook a marshmallow. Yes. Oh, this is how Amo went to the sun station for the first time too. Oh my God. That's incredible. That's so funny. I admire that persistence. I love that. Right, that, that was a nice little, nice little interlude. Let's, let's go back to the stranger. Right, what is my plan of action here? What do I wanna do? I think, hmm. Possibly starting area two so that I can bring down the the raft dock, like light up the dock there to bring the one raft around and then head on the other raft to turn off the lights for the well. And then I think I leave that area then and head to the gorge head in there, use that to get around to the second area again. That just buys me like an extra minute or two at the end where they, where they can't get me. I think that's my plan. It's, it's a really not well thought out plan, but we'll see how it goes. Because now I, at least now I have like a vague idea of where everything is, so that's gonna save me a lot of time. It would also save me a lot of time if I didn't walk into walls, but sometimes walls just be there. <laughs> All right. I like how I got a whole note of the raft music. Ah, oh, Parker Solar Probe reached 7.26 million kilometers of the surface of the sun going 176 kilometers a second 
Wow, the fastest man-made object. That's wild. That's so interesting. Hehe. <laughs> Oh, and Waffle Up, hello, welcome. Welcome on in, welcome to, um, I figured out how the alarm stuff works. I'm still not entirely sure how I'm gonna pull everything off, but I'm gonna try my best. Oops, oops, I'm fine. I'm fine. Right, second area. Bring down the secret staircase. And turn off the well lights hot foot to the hidden gorge go back and pray that is my plan it's not the most well thought out plan in the world but I think it will work me up yes haha -ha. and at least now I remember which way to go while I'm here like I, I feel like for the longest time every time I ended up here I didn't know how to get to the tower I'd keep walking around in circles whereas now I know it's right here and it's uh this one yeah get these out of here Oop. good night The, the shortest nap. The timer didn't even come up. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's so crazy that it's harder to get close to the sun. Uh, it's harder to get close than it is to get further out. Sometimes. Ignoring gravity assists. Yeah, the sun is terrifying. I mean, it's like, I feel like it says a lot about the sun and like the sun in any system. Like the fact that all of the planets orbit around it kind of shows how much power the sun has. Right, which way was it to turn the thing off? Is it here? Yeah, it's here. I remembered. <gasps> all right, I've got the, the little dock for the raft now so I can get off the raft and end up here. And now we go back the way we came. Go the other way, go past the scary, scary alarm. Which I'm definitely not scared of because I'm big and brave. Was it this way? Yes, yeah, this way. I'm big, I'm brave and not afraid of the dark. <laughs> I promise. Yeah, it's it's like it, it is very easy to get close to the sun, but then once you're caught in that orbit, it's Okay, here we go. Oh god, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Oh don't do that. Oh <laughs> I wish you could have seen how much I jumped just then. <laughs> oh, the the it's the absolute darkness that scares me. Like when it's when it's a bit dark but you can still make things out. Um I I don't like it, but I can deal with it. When it's just the pitch black, I can't deal with that. Right, okay, so my plan here is I go along here. I will grab my little zoop to go up i will turn off the alarms and then i'm gonna jump off the edge and quickly go to the gorge that's my plan like i'm not gonna stick around here after i've put out the well lights i'm just getting out of here the fastest way possible okay you won't do that anymore <laughs> doubt <laughs> no if, if it was really a problem i would simply turn off the alert but you did scare the bejesus out of me okay that's off oh they're getting mad now so what if i now jump off the edge to wake up i didn't wake me up wake me up 
I'm not being woken up. Please wake me up. Please. There we go. Okay. Okay, I'm awake. And now we go to the gorge. Now I'm heading to the gorge and I'm going to head in from there. Hopefully I can quickly make it to my raft before the dam breaks. Yes, I got my raft. Okay. Hee <laughs> Heading off to the gorge. Ideally, it would be nice to go down this third path. It'll let me... I can go in this direction enough. Yes. This way. I, I'm not going to fit through there, am I? Am I? Okay. Come on, go. That way. Ugh. Ugh. I'm going against the current. I'm very glad the dam is not broken yet because I wouldn't be able to do this. Okay, there we go. This is where I want to be. Oh, I need to make sure these power lines don't fall on top of me too. I didn't actually think about that. This may be very dangerous. This may be extremely dangerous. We will see. Alright, now pick me up, pick me up. Pick me up, please. Lovely. Lovely. Lovely! Fabulous. Fabulous. Oh, unrelated to anything on stream. Your cat's decided to sit in your lap. <gasps> Great success. That is the, the greatest success. Yes. Yes. Goodbye, raft music. I miss you. <laughs> and I'm managing to do this before the dam has broken, too. This feels good. This feels like good time. But I've got a feeling that the strangers, that the owl deer creatures probably noticed all of the lights going out around the well. So I don't think it's going to be as easy as just like walking over there. I have a little feeling. Oh wait, no, I need my flashlight. <laughs> I was trying to focus my light <laughs> as though I was already in the, in the thing. I'm very smart. All right, now we head in from here and I will not be woken up when the dam breaks. Have a little nap. Okay. Okay, I've gotten to know this area so well. Right. Down to my raft. towards the arch the arch of the tree trunks yeah. I love how everything is set up so perfectly for you to like discover things in the first area that help you in the second and discover things in the second area that help you in the third and I just accidentally found found things out before I should have <laughs> right so now I can use this to head around to the second area. Hopefully they won't immediately jump me. Oh, oh, that was so... Oh, that... That was too close for comfort. I didn't like that. Into the loading screen. It is very annoying that it this only goes in one direction because I'm I'm in like the equivalent of area 3 so I'm having to go 412 to get to area 2 as opposed to just like going backwards but it's fine. Oh, I I, I think I may have genuinely cried if I'd 
if I'd done all that setup so well and then I just jumped into the water. <laughs> like, I'd still have time, I think, is the thing. Right, this is the first area, isn't it? Yes. So not here. It's the next one. But uh, even if I had, I would have been able to just go back in and try it again. I just would have lost a little bit of time. That's not a problem. Because I still don't know exactly what I'm going to do once I reach the well. That's the scary thought for me here. I don't know what I'm going to do when I reach the well. Because there may be... There may be um, people who aren't very happy to see me there, which is scary, but I'm going to be brave. <laughs> Management decided to cut corners when building the simulation. That's why the raft only moves one way. It would make sense. It's like, well, we have all the time in the world. Literally all of the time because nothing's going to happen. So you can just do a full lap and deal with it. Okay. What was that? Oh, this is the tower. Oh, maybe I can observe from the top of the tower quickly. I'm, I'm gonna potentially waste a bit of time doing this, but I want to scout out the area. I wanna see if I see any other green lights. And I feel like looking from the, the roof of here I would very easily be able to spot. If there's anyone roaming. As long as I don't fall off. <laughs> okay, no, I can't actually see anything from up here. This was not my most well thought out plan. I just wasted a bit of time, that's okay. It's a learning experience. <laughs> but yeah, I love I love how I figured out the the first like vault seal thing before I should have like before I found the the room with the reels <laughs> purely because I accidentally found out about the matrix. Right. Everything's so dark though now, I hate this. I truly hate how dark everything is now because I'm terrified. I'm really scared. Jump scare flowers. Oh, no. I am so sure there were candles here. I am so 100% sure there were candles here. And now there are not. I'm wondering, did they like take the candles down? Did they like come in here and remove the candles? There were candles. There were candles, like, everywhere around here. There, there's no candles anywhere anymore. All the candles are gone. I hate this. I hate this so much. I'm so scared. Oh. <gasps> I think I know how this stream's gonna go. <laughs> oh, this is the kind of stream I wish I had a heart rate monitor for because, oh my God, my heart is thumping right now. <laughs> Thanks for that. Yeah, let me have a sip of Monster. <laughs> oh God, I'm, I'm so on edge. <laughs> it's okay. It's, 
<laughs> it is hilarious, but also, oh my goodness, I'm, I feel like I'm gonna lose at least three of my nine lives through here. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> turns out reduced frights just turns off Twitch sound alerts. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what that actually does. I can imagine it's like good for this situation right now. For this scenario right now, I can imagine this is like the intended time for reduced frights. But I'm not a wimp. I'm not a baby. I'm not a baby. I'm brave. I'm brave and strong. <laughs> I'm brave. I'm brave and strong. 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 I'm strong and brave. This is where the well is. I know the well is like around here. I'm just petrified. I'm so scared. I'm really scared. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be like the biggest cop out wimp in the world. I'm going to wait until the tower falls and they die. And I'm going to try and like speed run everything in like a minute because I'm too scared. I'm, I'm too baby. I'm too baby and scared. I'm going to wait here. I'm waiting here. First I was afraid, I was petrified. Cause the lights are off and I know there are scary things outside. <laughs> now I spent oh so many loops just setting fire to myself. I used to die, <laughs> but, uh, but now I hold my head up high and I say I. <laughs> I will survive. Uh, there we go. I've, uh, <laughs> uh, oh, what if I do an Outer Wilds? I will survive parody. I feel like I've said that for so many, so, so many games and so many songs. I'll just make up like random lyrics and be like, what if I make a parody for this game with this song? But I, I actually think that could work quite well with Outer Wilds. I think I could actually write quite fun lyrics for that. Oh, now I'm. Oh. I'm gonna write it down. I'm writing it down so I don't forget this idea because I think that would be hilarious. <laughs> okay, it is very hard to write on a post-it note with a Sharpie when you only have one hand because the other hand is holding down the L1 button on a controller and the post-it starts sliding around, but I've I've made an approximation of the words I will survive. So that is enough to remind me. <laughs> oh, it's so hard, because I think if I had like a gel pen or something, I'd be able to write, or like a pencil, but the Sharpie is like, it keeps sticking to the paper and like dragging the paper with it. This is so scary, I'm... <laughs> oh. Just waiting. Just waiting. I'm just gonna wait. Oh, imagine an owl walking here and tripping on the hatchling. <laughs> it just runs straight into me. Oh, that would be terrifying. Also, I love the term elk. Like an owl and an elk. I love that. An elk. I've kind of just been calling them strangers because of this being the stranger. I, I, I don't know what to call them otherwise. I'm just like, the, uh, the friends? <laughs> the friends. The friends. <laughs> and also, I, I love that, Kale, I love that you have a cat sleeping on your lap. You're stuck there now. You're not allowed to get up anymore now. Why does time go so much slower? when I want it to go fast. I'm just, I just want to, okay, 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 there, they died. Okay, I'm going. I'm going, I'm going. Wait, but it's on. Oh no, I've got to conceal. 
Oh no, but I can't see where I'm going. This is, oh no, hold on. I don't know which way around to go. It's like a walkway. I don't know the path I need to take. I'm gonna fall into the water, I bet. Cause like, I clearly need to do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try a little trick of what if. One, two, conceal a little bit. I fell, I fell. Ah, oh, it's the end. It's the end. Goodbye. Goodbye. That didn't work. I know it's really close to the end. I need to scout something out. I need to know like the, the, the path I need to walk. I don't know which direction I need to walk in and that's the hard part. Oh no, and then this is the third area, so I can't even scout it out. Ugh. I don't know which direction to walk in. I need to like plot the path out ahead of time. But it's like, it's hard because I need my artifact. Like I'm presuming I'm gonna need my artifact. Oh, maybe I won't. Maybe I won't. Maybe. I've, I've got an idea. I've got an idea for next time. I think I know what I'm going to try. Because I was about to say, but I think I'm going to need my artifact. Because there's usually an elevator that needs the light to be controlled. But the, it, the well, if it... It looked like a staircase when they were like going down it in, I think it was one of the reels. It looked like a staircase. I might not need the artifact. I might be able to matrix zoom there without my artifact. They won't see me because I'll be completely dark. I'm like hidden in the matrix. Maybe I can do it that way. Maybe I can do it that way. That's going to be my plan. Also, Bob, thank you so much for stopping in. Thank you for scaring the living daylights out of me. <laughs> But oh, I hope I hope that you've had fun with the the VR chat rigging. I hope you sleep well. Thank you very much for stopping in. Oh my god, I'm my heart's still beating so fast. This is like genuinely terrifying. The the full darkness is the the scariest part of this to me. Ugh. Right. Okay, I'm gonna do that again, and then instead of being a little baby, I'm gonna leave my artifact behind enter the matrix, try and go down that way. I don't know if that's gonna work. If there are reels down there I have to see, I don't know if I will need my artifact for that or not, but I can at least find out. I can at least see, I can at least try it. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm actually shaking. <laughs> oh, I'm shaking so much. Ah. So shaky. But oh, thank you. Good night. It is I. I am becoming the ghost in the matrix. Oh, huh. We have some more monster. Oh. I feel like this is just going to end up with me realizing I do need my artifact, and it's not going to work out the way I planned, but I, I, I want to at least see. Like, if there's, like, the remotest possibility that it could work, then I owe it to myself to try it. I have to at least give it a try. Okay, so I am going to do exactly what I did last time, Except when I get to the part about being a little baby and hiding in the dark, I will not do that. <laughs> Oops. Hold on. Why did I get my scout? I wanted my flashlight. We're not off to a great start. I was still acting as though I had the artifact in my hands when, in fact, it is just a flashlight. But I believe. Oh, I feel like this is harder now because I'm shaky. My hands are really shaky now. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Huh. That's the point. I know. <laughs> I know that's the point. 
it's not meant to be an easy walk in the park, but I'm still a feared. Wow, this is really interesting too, because I don't usually get scared by media and things like that. But I think like that what that was genuinely scary to me. I I was like I I felt the fear there with all of the lights going out. I that I wonder how the reduced fights even works. I'm so curious now. Uh, you know what? I will I will actually ask that as a like an Oh, I, I fell off my raft. No. No. It's upside down. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. But at least I'm like in the right area. At least I'm in the right area. Oh, it's kind of spoilery. Okay, yeah, please don't tell me then. Because <laughs> I was like, if it's just a little thing, like it doesn't remove candles or something, then that's fine. But if it is something that's like a little bit more than that, then yes, I would rather not know. And at least until I've finished the game. <laughs> okay, well, I still made it. I don't have a raft, but I still made it. Whew. Scary. I miss my raft, it was a good raft. Hopefully I can figure out something else to get a new one. <laughs> All right, we go this one, and a boop. And a boop. Oh, if, if I didn't basically skip the other two areas, I'd be more accustomed to the feeling now. Yeah, like I, I got a taste of it in the second one where I fully cheated and went around the outside with the Matrix Bridge. But yeah, I think figuring out the Matrix early on definitely helped me avoid some frights. But yeah, I'm... Hmm. Can, you, can see, you can kind of tell how much I'm shaking even though you can't see me like holding the controller by the fact that I'm jumping to the side. <laughs> Yeah, look, there's candles here. There's candles here. And there's candles here and there's candles there. All the candles got taken down. It's like, as soon as the lights went out, it's like the fact that there was no alarm is what alarmed them. So everything, I think they, they went onto like high alert as soon as that happened. They're like putting out the lights. And, like, they're gonna have the same artifact as this. I just realized, I was talking about trying to see the little green lights in the distance. They they also are going to have the conceal function. They're probably just gonna be hiding in the shadows. And if I get too close, they're gonna jump out and... gently blow out my candle. <laughs> uh. Oh, I don't think that's cheating, just alternative problem solving. Yeah, it's like, I say cheating more in like a joking way. I don't think it's like legitimately cheating. It's, it's very funny to me that I found like an, like I found out by being silly. All right, and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go this way because last time I noticed there was the glow of the raft thing once I got, yeah, when I get to the end. I can see the glow of that if I go from that path. Okay. Boop. Boop boop. <laughs> Wonder if they can also conceal was the exact thought you prevented yourself from commenting earlier. Oh, I love that. Well, I said it now, so. Hee <laughs> hee. But yeah, it's like, it would make sense. Like we, th it's the same artifact. Did I go past it? I didn't go past it, right? I may have gone past it. I think I went past it. Where is it? Go on, let's go this way instead. Up 
there? There it is. Got it. I'm still gonna do the same thing. I'm still gonna go to the gorge and enter from there just to buy myself that tiny little bit extra time. <sighs> All right. Yeah, oh, look, they're, they're set off the alarms. Okay, that woke me up. Nice, okay. <laughs> Just a little bit of brunt, blunt force trauma to wake up. But yeah, I, I bet like in that moment, that's going to be like the the alert of uh, something has gone wrong. Something is up here. Be on alert. And they're going to start like probably concealing and looking out for intruders. <laughs> right, this doesn't have a raft because I missed it. But I think there was a raft like, oh, yeah, in the, in the second one. There's a raft over here. Phew, it's it's almost like they expect everything to go wrong. <laughs> right, will I make it all the way over here? Oh, I'm I'm doing this much better than last time. There we go, that was much smoother than last time. I like that the music's not playing because I'm not going in the right direction, but... Now? Now music! <laughs> go this way. Going along here. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm, I'm popping into the Matrix for this one. I think that is my strategy. I'm hoping that... Like, if nothing else, I'll be able to use that to figure out the path I need to take with my artifact. Like, if I can't proceed any further from there, I can at least get more of, like, an idea of the layout. Also, Romani! Thank you so much for the resub for 31 months. Oh my goodness. Hi! How's it going? Welcome! Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. Welcome. I'm about to try very scary things, and I'm very scared, but I'm, I'm being brave. I'm being strong and brave and hiding my fears and definitely not squealing when someone knocks on the door. <laughs> uh, oh, they already... there. And down I go. I think I just like ran into the fire a little bit, but it's okay. Oh, cat update, she's dreaming. Oh, is she doing like the little twitches that cats do when they're dreaming, like, like the little paw. I love when cats dream. I love the little, the little movements they make. Tiffany really likes to eat in her dreams. She has a lot of dreams where she'll just start like smacking her mouth like, and it's so cute to me. But are lurking while fooding. Oh, I hope you have delicious food. Thank you, thank you for the the motivation and support. I'm I'm being very big and brave. Gordon runs in his dreams. His little feet go. I love that. I love that so much. I love cats. Guess the dream zoomies. Just going. Right, here we go. Uh, oh, it's so bad though, because now I'm now I'm shaking before I've even got there. I'm I'm already shaking. My hands are shaking so much. I'm so bad at like adrenaline fueled tense situations. I get, I get so startled so easily. <laughs> All right, here we go, through to area four. This 
This is the fourth area. And then through to area one. This is what, oh, maybe after this I'll be better with them. Maybe. I, d I don't think I will, <laughs> but maybe it would be nice. I, I wish I didn't get startled so easily. It's one thing that I, I do wish was different. I get startled way too easily. I just, I jump at the smallest things and I wish I didn't get so easily startled because it always like makes my heart race as well. Whenever there's like something unexpected, I, I jump a mile. I wish I was less jumpy. <laughs> but uh, but I don't usually get scared. I get startled, I don't get scared. This game is, is giving me the scares. This game has definitely got the, the scared element to it. Oh, at least these lights are still on. That's very nice of them. <laughs> Big fear time. No. Oh god, I'm so scared. These candles are still here. Look, look, it's so dark. It's just dark. It's all dark. All those candles I lit before, they are just gone. It's so dark. Yeah, they're, they're just gone. They've just taken them. Although, no, like, considering this is a projection, they probably just went... They went into, like, the settings and went, uh, all candles delete. I bet that's what they did. Right, now the question is... Uh, I'm gonna need... I, I will need this to get down the lift. I need the light to get down the lift because this is light activated. But then I'm thinking I'm gonna leave my artifact in the lift. I'm gonna leave my artifact right here. And I don't remember the direction I go in actually. It's a bad idea, hold on. Oh God. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just laughing so much. Hi, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hi, Raiders. Hi, Pixie. Welcome, welcome in, Raiders. I'm so sorry. I'm I'm doing like a really tense, scary, dark part of this game, and I just jumped a mile when the raid happened. I just leapt out of my seat. I <laughs> oh my goodness. I <laughs> So if you're wondering why I was just like hysterically giggling, oh my goodness, I've, that's the third jump scare I've gotten in this stream, like on purpose. <laughs> well, that one wasn't even on purpose, that was an accidental one. But uh, thank you so much for the raid, welcome in raiders, hi! To anyone who's new here, hello! I'm Liri, I'm a pink haired cat girl from the UK, and I love comfy games and puzzle games. And this is a really cool puzzle exploration discovery game. But I'm very uncomfy right now. <laughs> I'm it's it's very scary at the moment. It's so scary. I I didn't expect to actually be scared by this, but I have been. I'm I'm so jumpy. <laughs> oh, thank you for the posture check as well. Let me have a stretch. Oh, release the tension. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. But thank you for the raid. I hope you had a good stream. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you got the, the chance to bring the raid this way too. How did the Fallout 76 go? I have not played that game in years. I, I played it a while ago. Like it was before they even had NPCs in the game is the last time I played it. <laughs> so it's been a it's been a while, but I, I always had fun with it. There were so many people who were like, well, Fallout 76 is not a great game, but I always had so much fun. 
even like at launch, I still had fun with it. I, I think that possibly partially is because I didn't pay full price for it. I might not have felt the same way if I had paid full price for it at launch. But I think it's so fun. I, I love it. I just love the, the atmosphere of Fallout games. But oh, I'm glad you had fun though. Oh, so much better than it was at launch. I need to, I need to check it out again. I need to check it out again. I have to. <laughs> yeah, Remember when I thought there were no frights and the option was just there for anticipation? I take it back now. I am very frightened now. But uh, the the base game for Outer Wilds, I wouldn't consider it like scary in a horror sense. There's a couple of areas that are like a little bit scary to get through in more of like a oh worry kind of way. Not in like a scary, scary kind of way. But uh, I'm currently playing the DLC. And the DLC actually has an option in the menus. Like, if I go to the menu here, there's a there's an option here, Reduced Frights. Uh, makes certain frightening sequences easier to navigate. And I am pretty convinced that I am in one of those frightening sequences right now. <laughs> and it's it's like, it's genuinely scary. I don't usually get scared by games. But this is really scary <laughs> but it's so good though it's it's such a great game i love it so much but oh, oh you're a huge fallout enjoyer nice i approve uh, i recently finished watching the the fallout tv series and i thought it was so well done i was so happy it's like it's always a bit of a fear when you when something you like is being adapted into something else but i think they did such a good job with it they they really kept the falloutness with it, I, I really liked it. I'm I'm waiting for a season two now. <laughs> but yeah, I I haven't actually played many of the Fallout games. Uh, I played Fallout Three on the Xbox 360, and then I played a, quite a bit of Fallout 76, a, a decent amount, not a huge amount though. And then I've watched other people play Fallout Four, and I want to play New Vegas at some point because. Yeah, I hear a lot of people saying that New Vegas is their favorite. And so I, I do really want to check that out. And I do have it. I actually have it. I just haven't gotten around to playing it yet. But I, I do want to play that at some point. I've heard very good things about it. But uh, yes, thank you so much for the raid, though. And if you have to head off after your stream, too, if you're tired, or you want to get some food or drink, please don't feel like you have to stick around, especially because um, I'm in scary moments <laughs> but if you do uh i'm hoping i'm hoping i can get through the the frightening sequence hopefully without perishing maybe we will see but uh thank you so much for bringing the raid this way though i really appreciate it but yeah new vegas is the best of the modern games oh i i have to play it then i have to check it out but yeah gonna raid and run because you're sleepy oh that is fully understandable. I hope you get some good rest. I hope you manage to sleep well. Have sweet dreams of... Probably not the wasteland, actually. That's That wouldn't be the, the sweetest dreams. <laughs> but thank you for bringing the raid this way. Uh, you like 4 because of the building and being extremely moddable, but from a pure RPG standpoint, New Vegas is remarkably good. Yeah, most of the things I've heard is that the New Vegas story is really good and it's just like a, an enjoyable game to play which I'm here for I'm 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 a fan of enjoying playing the games I play <laughs> but yeah the only the only Fallout game I've actually played myself all the way through is Fallout 3 back when it was released on the Xbox 360 <laughs> so that was a while ago that was a quite a while ago but I had a lot of fun with it but yeah, it's mostly like watching other people play it. But yes, I let me let me continue with my frights now. Hopefully, hopefully things will go okay. I believe, I believe. Three could have been good, but that ending, yeah. I'm I'm just like a, I I enjoy the journey. <laughs> okay, okay. I am terrified. I am. I am shaking so much. Let's see if this works. I need to know which direction I'm going. That way. I'm gonna drop this link back here. Please. I hear a lift. <gasps> no! 
no! I, I, I jumped into the water, no! Devastating. Devastating. <gasps> Devastating. Now I need to wow. take the raft all the way back around again. <laughs> I, I, I shouldn't drop the artifact there. I, I should not leave it there. It's too dangerous. I don't know where the path is. I don't know where I'm going in the dark. I, I need to not do that. All right, I've lost a lot of time, but it's okay. I still believe. It's not over till the sun explodes. You know that, that famous saying? Huh. Let's try that again. Oh, the pain. Now I need to call the lift back up again. Ah, the devs thought of everything. They sure did. Oh. It ain't over till the fat sun sings. Oh. Let's try that again. I, I feel like I'm I'm just waiting to get caught by someone. I'm just I'm just here like waiting for something to just pop out of the shadows at me and open its terrifying big teeth mouth at me. I'm I'm so scared. I don't even know how much time I've got. <laughs> ah. It's so scary. Let's try this again. <laughs> Mama, hello! Welcome, welcome. How's it going? Nice to see you. I am... I'm shaking and terrified right now. Welcome. Welcome to comfy stream times. <laughs> oh my goodness, my hand is literally shaking so much. Oof. Okay, area one. Next one. Next one. I'm numing. The comfiest stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> having such a good time. I'm having a ball. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, you don't truly know a lot about Outer Wilds. It is... It's such a good game. It's the kind of game that if you ever intend on playing it yourself, uh, don't look into it too much. Don't look up too much about it because it is a game about like exploration and discovery and managing to get that level of like exploration and discovery is such a joy. It is, it's so much fun. It's really, really fun. But uh, I'm currently playing the DLC, which is a, a little bit scary. <laughs> so, <laughs> a little bit, I'm terrified out of my mind. It's very scary. But I am having a good time. I think the scariest part is always when I hear like the lift chains. And I know they're like moving around. Okay, let's try this again. Why is the lift up? Why is the lift up here? Did it, did someone come up this lift? Why? Oh. Okay. Okay, if I go in a straight line from Oh. Oh no, I think it's just automatically going back up. If I go in a straight line from here, I think I can do it. Oh, there's someone here. There's someone here. There's there's someone right here. There is someone right there. They are right here. You are right here. Oh no. Huh? Oh no, they are right here. They were concealing. They were f they're concealing. They're dead. Now I run. <laughs> I don't have my light. I don't have my artifact. I'm gonna see if I can do anything without my artifact, if I can go down here in the Matrix, if it will let me. The sun's about to explode, but... 
but I'm scouting out the area. Oh. Oh, I hear the music. I hear the music. I can't make anything out because I'm in the matrix. Look at all of this. I can't read any of this. I can't read any of it. I don't know what any of this says because I don't have my light. There's so much in here. There is so much in here. There's another alarm thing here. There's another lift? Oh my goodness, there's a lift here. Where is this lift then? Where does this lift? Is this another way down? Like, avoiding the alarms? Does this go further down? I can't do anything. I don't have my light. I, I need my artifact to be here. But, oh god, this is terrifying. I don't know if there is, like, a safe way to get through. Oh my goodness. Just look at this place. <laughs> I tried. At least I've I've like I've mapped out the area a bit now. I know I know what I'm working with now. Right, and it's the the beam of this is like this whole area. The whole area it can see. Until I if I can like go around the edge. If I can get around the edge, that would work. I just have to be careful. But also the fact that there was there was someone right there. There was someone right there in the way of the well. How the heck am I meant to get past there? How the heck am I meant to get past there? Oh my goodness. <sighs> I want to see what's in there. I want to see what's in there. <sighs> so many passwords, so many codes. So many codes to open, like that's clearly like the code safe house. I want to read them all, I want to see them all. Oh goodness. Right, and it didn't update on here because... Oh, no it did! Uh, I found the remains of a burned out building on the outskirts of the village. Oh wait, I did! I did, because I took the raft across. And I booped against something, maybe I should explore there some more. I should explore there some more, I think. I think I should explore there. Whoa. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back again. Also, TJM, hello! Welcome, welcome! And Lanzerwin, welcome in! I've discovered how to turn off the lights around the well. And now I'm figuring out how I can get down there without perishing. Which is scary. <laughs> But welcome! Oh, I wish I had a map. It would make things a lot easier. But how am I- how am I meant to get past the person who's like... standing guard? That's terrifying. Alright. Turn around. And park. There we go, okay. Oh. oh, this this game is leaving me so on edge. I am so <laughs> Oh my my heart is pounding. Oh, maybe I should do the reduced frights. I'll try one more time. And if I'm if I'm feeling really stressed out, I may turn on the reduced frights. Just to see if it makes a difference or not because I am I am very very frightened at the moment oh Aurora hello welcome welcome is that a Lurie it might be I might be here hello nice to see you I hope you're doing well Okay. 
Right. What I'm going to do this time is I want to... Um, I want to experiment a bit more, so I'm not going to go in via the third area. Even though that would buy me a little bit of extra time, I'm not going to go in through the third area. Why are you not going? Okay, now you're going. I'm going to just go in through the second area and stay there. And see what happens, because if anything goes wrong then, I can just jump back in. As opposed to if I if anything happens and I start in the third area, I'm I'm jumping right back to that third area and I have to make my way all the way around again. <laughs> Whew. Okay. So that's gonna be my plan. Also spookiest pajamas, hello, welcome. But uh, how have I been? I've been doing well. I've had a I've had a very busy weekend, but it's been a lot of fun. I've been having a good time. A lot of Off-Kai Expo related stuff, which has been a lot of fun, but also very tiring. <laughs> but uh, now I am terrified. I'm terrified, but I'm being brave. But yeah, I think I'm just, I'm just sticking with this tower. I'm just gonna, when, when the sun explodes, that, that's my time limit. I'm, I'm gonna deal with them. I will deal with the, the Alks. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, you have a burning question about this DLC that you hope it answers, but won't mention in case it ends up being plot relevant. Ah, yeah, I was, I was gonna say, I'm sure one of my trusty mod team would be welcome to to assist if you did want to know, but maybe I will find it out as I'm playing. And you can be like, that's what I wanted to know. Like, th th the moment of, oh goodness. Ba, ba, ba. I, I went the, the furthest way around I could. Right, let's explore that, uh, the burned place, the burned shack. I don't think there's really a point in lighting these, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> I know they're gonna get removed, but it's okay. But yeah, that was so interesting how they end up like putting out all of the candles and then standing guard. Outside the well. Right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make my way to the raft. But I'm gonna go all the way to that end where there was that, the like the the burned the burned cabin because that's where they came from to give the the password thingy so let's just head over and explore because I did not explore over here there might be interesting things around oh I'm I was scary to jump off yeah why is this place burned? Did something happen here? Oh, oop, oh, oop, oh, that's a big old hole. Oh, that's the That's the the eye of the the eye of the universe symbol. Oh, this is gonna be another Oh, oh. Huh? That is really pretty. What does it mean? It's not gonna be dark bramble, is it? Spreading its seeds throughout the system. Hmm. Keep having a look around. But I wonder if it's like it it it, it is like a worship eye of the universe until they realize it is a bad thing. Oh. We're moving. What is this? Is it like a telescope? Hmm. It's like a receiver of some sort. 
maybe. Or a transmitter. Hmm. Doesn't seem to work, though. What if I... It's pointing right up there. Hmm. Oh, this is. Oh, that's ground. No, that's water. Never mind. I. <laughs> glad I didn't keep walking. Haha. <laughs> hmm. This is interesting. Is there. more in here? What if I explore here? Oh, that's the raft. Oh, I, I just, I just had a moment of pure terror when I saw like green lights lighting up. Can I go that way? Oh yeah, that's that's like I just walked around. There's just not a wall there. Right. If I leave my artifact here. I wonder if I can safely matrix. Maybe, maybe not. I know there are gaps in the floor and I don't know where they are. I'm gonna risk it. I'm just like waiting to fall into the, into a chasm. so dark I can't see anything where am I I think I'm stuck okay I'm genuinely stuck I can't move <laughs> what have I done <laughs> oh no I'm actually stuck I actually got myself stuck I I can't move I can't jump I can't any direction I cannot move I can't jump I <laughs> I didn't expect to just get like fully trapped. Oh no, I fell. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness I fell so I can go back in. <laughs> thank goodness. Thank goodness. I thought I was trapped and I would have to meditate and come back. It's okay, I can come back in. Oh, that didn't go as planned, but I, I do want to try and explore that area in the Matrix. I want to see if there's any, like, hidden stuff I can Matrix view. Like, there might not be. I might just be fully wasting my time here, but I, I need to know. I have to be certain. <laughs> Whew. Back we go. Back up here I go. There's the control. Bring it back, please. Because I left the raft over there, please come back. It came back. Right, let's try that again. <laughs> This time I will, I will plan out a path before I drop my artifact. Right, so we look in here. Yeah, where did I even get stuck? Did I, exist? I think I got stuck in there, maybe. Right, because which way was it for the... Right, that's where, like, the flower thing is. Okay, the... Right up there. Direct straight line from here. Maybe not. Maybe? <gasps> yes! Okay! I'm in the matrix. Okay, it doesn't really help. <laughs> oh! 
Oh, but this is the... This is the path the other raft takes? Yeah, this is the path the other raft takes. It comes, like, right next to it here. Huh. I wonder what this is for. It's like, it, it's aiming... towards, like, the top of the tower. I'm so short. I'm so tiny and short. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think there's anything helpful for me there. But at least I had a look. Oh, there goes... There goes the dam. But I'm like, is there more stuff out here as well? There's a light there. Okay, there's the first, the first group of all perished. Yeah, I really am so curious about this. I wonder if there's a way to like put a light or artifact in it, but I can't do that because I'm too short. Oh, we're, we're leaning. The tower's leaning. All right. I've wasted a lot of time, but it's okay, because I've found things out. Which is what I wanted to do. Now it's time for the scary part. Where is it? There it is. Right, before I instantly turn off the well lights, I am going to observe the area. Because so far, I've just been running up here, I've been immediately extinguishing. But there's more stuff in this direction. Which may end up being helpful. Maybe. Oh, oh. Where am I? Oh, I'm back on this side. Yeah, this is, oh, this is where I went down. Huh. Huh, okay. I didn't really want to go back there, but, um, tee hee. Guess I'm here now. Oh, listen to the music. Yeah, I didn't extinguish the lights before I like numed over. So I guess I gotta go back again. <laughs> but uh, I, cause I was wondering if there might be a lift or something up here because there was the, the platform for the lift that I saw, like the lift that was like in the well. So a little part of me was wondering, like, I wonder if I can find a way to get in that doesn't involve going down the stairs. But I'm not sure. Okay. Bring back my raft. <laughs> Let's give this a try again. And stale fishies, hello! Welcome, welcome! How's progress? Things are progressing well. I am terrified. I'm very scared. I'm very afeared. But I figured out the things I need to do, which is always very nice. Where is it? Where are you? There you are. Grab me. Right. Uh, I'm going back to experimentation time again. This time I'm not going to shine my light on everything. <laughs> right. Because yeah, there's up here. Around here. That like nooms me back. It's just a nice little sitting area, I guess. So, like, I guess that is a way I'd be able to get back to get down to the well. But uh, I think I prefer my strategy of die and jump back in. <sighs> Instead of trying to run around avoiding them all. Because that sounds terrifying. 
So I'm gonna do this. <gasps> and then go back in from the start. Okay. <laughs> ah, okay. Because I know the path from here. I just need to hope that nothing grabs me along the way. Here we go, I'm so scared. I don't know when I'm gonna see anyone. Like, there's a lift spot here. Ooh, okay, I'm going down. Last time I went, there was someone like waiting guard out here so I don't have a clue how I'm meant to get past and around here I am I'm terrified I'm so terrified oh there oh god can I like blind you blind you Right in the eyes. Right in the eyes. Right in the eyes. No, never mind. <laughs> yeah, put out the candle. Goodbye. Sorry. Sorry about that. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Okay, so I can't laser blast them in the eyes. <laughs> how do I... I wonder how fast they run. I wonder if I can, like, juke them, like, run in a full lap. Because there's the bridge there, and then there's like a way around. So I wonder if I can lap them. Maybe. Maybe I should have entered from the gorge. I'm. It might have been better if I'd entered from the gorge. And then I could just wait for them all to die. But I didn't do that, so... Yeah, they're still here. Oh, I'm not here though. I fell in the water. <laughs> I'm really not here. Oh, I'm really struggling with this part. I'm like, oh, hold on. I'm, I'm shaking so much. I need a second. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect this to affect me so much, but I'm genuinely shaking like a leaf right now. I'm, this is, it's like, it's not even like fear. It's like the tension that's like making the adrenaline fill my body that is then making me shake, that is then making me fumble my controls because my hands are shaking. I wonder if I should turn on... I'm going to turn on reduced frights and see what happens because... My hands are shaking a lot right now. That's that's the main reason. I'm I'm just really shaking. Uh, the frightening aspects of Echoes of the Eye are part of the intended experience. If they become an obstacle to your enjoyment of Outer Wilds, enabling this option will reduce some of those aspects. Are you sure? Yes. I'm gonna give it a try. I've I've given it a try many times. I'm getting to the point now where I'm feeling like genuinely stressed out about like <laughs> the, the, the nerves and the shaking so I'm, I'm trying it with reduced frights we will see it's very possible that the sun's just about to explode anyway and i won't have time to do anything oh yeah i, I think i'm just gonna wake up i don't have time to try anyway okay the end <gasps> no time to try let's meditate <laughs> Whew. Oh, since I asked previously, you'll say this. Don't expect much to change. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just putting it on just to see if it does make a difference with the tension aspect, because I'm... I'm like, I don't want to say struggling. I feel like struggling is the wrong word, but uh, I am shaking to the point where it doesn't feel great. <laughs> 
so uh, I'm gonna take a second. I'm gonna have some more monster. I'm gonna have a crunchy marshmallow. I'm gonna head up. And I have decided I am going to go from the third area. I'm going to make my way there from the third area. And the, the thing I'm gonna do with the alarm is I think I'm gonna try just going like bwam bwam and then hide and then bomb bomb and then hide like try and do it in like little bits in little stages to see if i can do it that way it's like i don't know if it's like a persistent alarm or if it will remember and build up over time i that will be another experimentation i guess we will see blah, blah. all right off we go Oh, I guess penumbra is a no-go then. I, probably not. I think it's it's like the the tension adrenaline things for me. It's I don't what I'm trying to think. Like I think it's like pressure that's the problem for me. Like if I am under pressure to do something, that's when I get stressed out and don't enjoy it as much. It's it's why I got so stressed out doing the challenge in The Witness, because there was that little pressure there. It was... It wasn't as bad because the stakes weren't, like, super high. It was just like, it just starts over. But, yeah, that was difficult for me. <laughs> but I'm still glad I did it. I'm glad I did it, even though it was hard. But... Yeah, it's... It's, it's the pressure element. Like, some people really enjoy having an adrenaline rush. They love, like, the feeling of an adrenaline rush. Whereas for me, I, I just... I just feel like, oh no, I'm dying. <laughs> I'm, I'm too baby for this. Mind you, though, I say that, but I do like roller coasters. I wonder what... Yeah, I think it is the pressure element. It's not the like the adrenaline, it's the pressure. It's like knowing I have to do something and being under pressure to get it done in a like a specific way. Oh, my raft is floating away. I got very lucky that you didn't float too far. Okay, we're fine. But yeah, it's like Oh, you're the same, but overcoming those moments is very rewarding for you. Yeah, I'm the same. I'm... I don't know. It's like, I can I can handle it up to, like, a certain point. But then, when I get to that point, when it's becoming more stress than, like, motivation to keep going, that's when it becomes, like, a little bit too much for me. And... Like, I've been trying this a few times, but I feel like now I've gotten to the point where it does feel more like the, the stress pressure element than the, oh goodness, this is scary, but I'm going to keep trying element. I don't know, I, I, I joke about being a big baby, but I'm actually the baby right now. Right, let's head in and prepare everything. And then hop over to the gorge. Okay, I've stopped shaking as much now, so that's good. <laughs> but yeah, it's just like, it's, a, it's, I think it's similar to like me being really jumpy and stuff too. Like, I don't like jumping and I don't like being startled, but I get startled by everything. All right, nap time. Do, do, do. This way. Time to remember what I'm doing. We start by bringing the dock down. Over here. 
I mean, at least one good thing about all the lights going out is that all of the doors are open. That is one positive point, at least. <laughs> but, uh, yep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rush over, I'm gonna turn off all the lights, and then I'm gonna run to the last area. And try and do everything in the last, like, two minutes. <laughs> my plan. It's my, my very sensible plan. Uh, speaking of that, remember the the video I got from that? From Oh, from the challenge? Yeah. Uh, have I seen Brian Moriarty's lecture talk he did about his work being put in The Witness and his experience of the game? I have not. I've not seen that. Would you recommend I check it out? Because I've, I've not seen that at all. Okay, we're at the end. He. Uh, keep in mind, you can give motivation tips if I need. Just don't throw the game away. Don't worry. I'm. There's no way I'm throwing the game away. I may be a scared baby, but I can guarantee you 100%. There's no way that I'm not doing this. Like, I'm, I'm going to get it done somehow. I'm definitely going to do it some way. I'm gonna keep trying. I'm not gonna give up, but I am I'm very scared. <sighs> I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time, though, because it's like... Hey. <gasps> I just feel like it's the easiest way to get to the lift. I know, I know how to get to the lift from here. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh no, I was gonna go out from the other area, wasn't I? I'm so silly. I was gonna go from the gorge. Let's go to the gorge. Ow. <gasps> okay, we're going to the gorge. Cause then it just it just gives me those few extra minutes at the end. A little bit of time. Just buy in a tiny bit of time. Ugh. I can't even jump. Why can't I jump over here? What is happening? Okay, there we I, What? I didn't... I'm not here. I... <laughs> I'm not in the dream. What am I... Oh, yeah, because I'm leaving. I have my jetpack. That's... I'm so... <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm still a bit flustered. I'm going to just take... Two minutes... To just sit here on pause, I'm gonna just. <laughs> oh, don't give me a sec. <laughs> just for a little bit. Just for a little bit. I'm gonna do this. There we go. I am taking a moment to breathe and to let my heart get back to a, a normal rate. <laughs> ah, like this. Also, L Adeline, hello. Welcome, welcome. Sorry, you're joining like right as I'm like terrified by everything in the world ever. <laughs> but welcome, welcome. Oh, you had to get a couple tips on how to deal with Alks before you could beat the areas. Oh, if, yeah, if I still get stuck after a few more times, I will, I'll probably ask for tips because uh, my strategy of running at them doesn't seem to be working. <laughs> no, I think there is probably a way to like duke them around. Like if I shine my light in one direction, then quickly run to the other path, they'll, they might like head to where the light was and I can go around. But the problem is, like, navigating all of this in the dark. That's my problem. I am scared. I don't know where I'm going in the dark. I'm going to fall in the water. <laughs> oh, it's like, I'm glad I got the chance to go down there in Matrix mode to, like, scout it out. But, yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to explore all of that in, like, the two minutes of the sun exploding. But I'm going to try my hardest. I'm gonna try my darndest. That's my plan for this run. <laughs> Cause I'm too scared. Ugh. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna have a gummy bear. 
Gummy bear, gummy worm. Why did I say bear? Why did I say bear? I only have gummy worms. Hold on. <laughs> Perfect, perfect way. <laughs> the perfect way to calm the nerves with gummy worms. <laughs> Whew. Whew. Oh, post in Discord. Yeah, if you could post in Discord, that'd be great. I, you could just do it in the, the Share Things channel. Share Things is like the catch all channel for like cool video, cool article, photo of something you took. But uh, you can always do spoiler tags. It's like if you do two vertical bars on either side of the message and the link, it will spoiler it. So it won't show up unless you click the spoiler then. It'll like hide it from view until you click. So you can just post like witness spoilers and then like the double bars on either side of the link. Blech. But yeah, it's it's nice that failure is very low consequence, can pop right back in. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit awkward the way I'm doing it, though, because I'm going from the third area. So if I do get caught and have to come back in, I've got to do like the full raft loop around. But I'm only doing that so that I can buy myself like a few extra minutes at the end. So I'm going to wait until the end again, wait until they all perish. And then I'm going to try like my stop and start get past the alarm hopefully maybe we'll see and see how it goes i don't know how it's gonna go i'm gonna try my best though but I, I think waiting for them to perish and leave is my best my best option at this point with my nerves <laughs> so i'm gonna try it one more time see if it works if it doesn't work i will have to think of something else but i can give it a try yeah, I love the terror more, please. I don't. I will be very glad when I am past the terror, I must say. I will be very glad to avoid the terror. <laughs> Whew. Okay, one more sip. I think... I think I'm okay. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Whew. Whew. Turn the elevator music off. Uh, although it would be very funny to just play through that whole section with, with gentle elevator music in the background. <laughs> Maybe that would help. Maybe that would help me. Maybe I'd do better like that. Ah. I keep forgetting I have my jet my jetpack now. I've been spending so much time in the dream world that I keep forgetting I, I don't just have to jump as a little hop. Right, now we go this way. Yeah, this is a much easier way to get around. I forgot I didn't have to go in that direction. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see how this goes. I believe. I believe. Yeah, coming all the way from a different section will increase the consequence of anything. Yeah, so nothing's gonna happen then, right? That's my plan. I'm simply gonna make sure nothing happens. And everything will be fine. <sighs> Pick me up, please. I got places to be. Whew. Oh, I'm really curious about the other elevator. Like, the fact that there's another elevator in there makes me wonder if there's an easier way to get there from somewhere else. But if there is, I have no idea where. Up I go. Okay. I really didn't expect this to get me to this extent. <laughs> and it is... Wait. This one. Yeah, I 
getting down to here and making my way around. <laughs> Good night. Good morning. was close uh, around to here I walk up to the tree I go towards the arch hehe <laughs> making my way downtown walking fast Alk appears walking faster <laughs> and I've got a silly silly little idea for here as well I'm hoping that I don't mess up and have to come back in but in case I do, I'm sending the lift back up, so it'll already be up there, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> so I won't have to wait for it to come back up again if I do make a mess of things. But hopefully I won't. I won't make a mess of things, everything will be fine. I really want to see everything there, but I am so, so scared. I love that I basically managed to avoid so many of the frights so far. Like, in the first area, just waiting for everyone to die. And in the third area, just jumping into the water and skirting around the edges. <laughs> it worked out so nicely. But yeah, we'll see how this goes. We'll see how it goes. If I struggle, I may ask for advice. But I don't know. I, th I think my plan might work. I just need to be careful because last time I, I did just step into the water. I need to just not do that. Oh, Loxley, hello. Welcome in, welcome in raiders. Hi, thank you so much for the raid. I'm poising, so you, uh, po poising, poising, pausing. So you don't get spoilers. I tried to say pause and spoiler at the same time, and it, it turned out more like poison. Uh, <laughs> Hi, welcome in. Welcome, raiders. Thank you so much for bringing the raid this way. How's it going? How did the Hades go? I hope you had, a, I hope you had some good runs. I hope you had a good Hades time. <laughs> then welcome on in. Welcome in, raiders. Hi. To anyone who's new here, hello. I'm Liri. I'm a pink-haired cat girl from the UK. And I love comfy games and puzzle games, and this is probably the least comfy I've been playing this game. But I still love it. But my hands have been shaking a lot. But yes, I, I, I instantly paused. I was like, I know you want to avoid spoilers for this game, so I... <laughs> so I was like, let me pause. You're not seeing anything now. <laughs> but yeah, oh, good stream. Two wins. Oh, heck yes. So glad to hear it. But yes, please feel free to raid and run, because it, it is pretty late as well. Go get some sleep too. But thank you for bringing the raid this way. Thank you. I'm very, very happy you decided to. I <laughs> but yes, welcome, welcome raiders. Hopefully, if you want to stick around, we're, we're having a good time here, I say, as my hands are shaking and I'm laughing nervously. Don't worry about it. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, oh, and Jack guided the raid too. I'm so glad. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, welcome, welcome. Thank you for bringing it this way. It is very appreciated. But uh, I'm glad you had a good stream. And yes, please look away now for there do be spoilers abound. Because I'm very, very far into the, the game and the DLC now. But yeah, thank you for bringing the raid this way. I hope you sleep well. Hope you have a, a good night's sleep. But yes, for anyone who's entered now, hi, welcome. Um, I found the reason for the option of reduced frights. I have, I'm finally being frightened in this game. 
for for the first time. I mean, like I I was unnerved by the anglerfish, but I was never really like scared scared. I've 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 been scared scared today. I I didn't expect it. <laughs> But yeah, I've I've decided to cave and I've clicked the reduced frights. I don't know what it's gonna do, if anything. We will see. We'll see. I don't know if it will help, but I've put it on anyway just to see, because my hands have been shaking so much that I'm, I've been struggling with the controller. <laughs> so we'll see how things go. But yes, welcome raiders. Thank you for popping in. Which area? Am I? Is that one? Yeah, this is two. This is where I need to be. Okay. I lost track of where I was for a second. <laughs> but yes, welcome on in, raiders. Welcome to um, me being very frazzled. I'm, I'm not usually this frazzled. I don't remember the last time I got this unnerved by something. It's, it's a weird experience. <laughs> Incredible game, though. Incredible game. But also terrifying. I can't wait to just, like, get instantly caught now. Oh, okay. The dam's broken. Everything's gonna wobble in a second. Yep. The first area, they're gone. I'm not here. I'm not here. Nobody here. Don't worry about me. This is where I'm going to be a baby. I'm now going to stand here and be a big baby until everyone dies. Also, gas salad. Thank you so much. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Hope you enjoy your time here. I've got a little bit of time to wait now. Probably like... Oh, oh I'm chibi. I'm small. See, this is the proof. I'm just baby. <laughs> I'm baby. It's scary. It's scary. I don't like it. But uh, I say that. I do like it. I'm... I don't hate it. Hey, like is maybe too much of a a term, but I don't hate it to the point where I don't want to play the game anymore. I I am very nervous and worried though. <laughs> but uh, we'll see how things go. I might not just I just might not have time to do anything. But we will find out. But yes, thank you for the chibi redeem. Thank you. And yeah, we got a good old legit mission. The mission here is like, I need to get into place. But place is guarded. And scary. And so I hide. Until everyone dies. And then try and speedrun everything in two minutes. <laughs> I think it's about two minutes. I'm not sure. I haven't like fully timed it. But I think like when the music starts, it's like a. Like a two minute warning? It might be one minute. It is a... It's, 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 it's a short amount of time, either way. And there's probably much easier ways of doing this, but I'm... I'm scared. <laughs> I just want to try it this way. I want this to... I want to attempt this strategy to begin with just to see if it works and then if it doesn't I'm going to be asking for advice I'm going to be like please oh help me help me so I could probably safely get a little bit closer I'm just really scared no don't no 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 No, please, no, my nerves, my nerves. Hi, Lyra, hello. Welcome, welcome. A sound alert, I can deny it no longer. I am small. <laughs> Why? Why? 
Why is this happening? I've been a good person. I do my part to be a decent person. I help people. I'm I'm kind. What have what have I done to deserve this? Oh, thank you. Thank you for the monster. Okay, you're forgiven. Everyone's forgiven. <laughs> I accept this monster offering. <laughs> oh, thank you for the head pat as well. And the posture check. Okay, I'm I'm doing like a one-armed posture check because my other hand is holding down the L1 conceal button on my controller so I can't really stretch it out properly because my controller is attached with a cable that is not very long. But I'm doing a half stretch with the posture check. Thank you. Please, I'm, I'm just waiting for the... I just want the sun to explode, please. That's probably not the best thing to be saying, but... <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, honestly, having this moment kind of helps too because I, I really have been shaking so much. I'm, I don't remember the last time my hands shook this much. I'm trying to remember. When would I? Yeah, I genuinely don't remember the last time my hands were shaking this much. <laughs> I've just got to wait until like the everything turns, like wait for the tower to start falling and then I can start making my way because they're about to die. So that is my plan. Cold temperatures. Oh, I don't feel the cold. I don't shiver. I don't shiver in the cold. I'm, I can be like sitting in freezing temperatures and I'm just completely fine. I <laughs> but no, I mean like specifically like nerves adrenaline kind of shaking I, I don't remember I don't remember the last time my hands shook this much they're still shaking <laughs> oh what's your horoscope this week <laughs> sometimes you gotta explode things a little bit it's true sometimes you do also I see you noticed I, I added the the static outer wilds emote too so if anyone wants to use that for the raid message, you can redeem it for 80 channel points if you're not subbed. So everyone can... Everyone can emote. <laughs> I made it the cheapest I could. Oh, the quote of the sun is very big! I mean, am I wrong? Am I wrong though? It, it is pretty big. But yeah, I added it and I, I made the point redeem the cheapest I could. Like, if, if I could have my own way, I would make it 10 points. So you can just unlock the emotes like that. But sadly, Twitch says the cheapest you can put it is 80. But that's still like, I think it's easy enough to rack up 80 points. And it means you can use it for a day as well. You can use it for a whole 24 hours on other streams as well. <laughs> I really hate the waiting now, actually. I know I said this was good because it gives me time to relax, but I'm not relaxing. I'm very tense. Uh, do I also get full body shakes when fighting boss battles and winning? You get those. Oh, I don't know. I don't really get full body shakes. It's always just like... Are they dying? Did they just die? Okay, I think they all just died. Now is the moment of truth. Okay. I don't know which way to go. It's like around the edge, I think. Nope, I'm hiding behind the rocks. Nope. I don't know which way to go. Is it a straight line from here? It's not. It's not a straight line from there. I am I'm out. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I'm <laughs> 
I don't know what to do with this situation. I am too baby and scared. Whew. Let's wait here. Let's wait here for the end. I'm gonna take a second, have a sip of my monster. It's like, I'm pretty sure I know what I should do. I think I can get past that person. Like the idea is going to be like that whole down, down area bit. Like there's the bridge on the one side and then there's like a rock path on the other side. And I think I just have to go around. I have to like make them chase me around. I'm just really scared. <laughs> I'm just really scared of that. And there's still the the alarm going off the whole time. I don't know which direction I'm going in. It's terrifying. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do here. I'm 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 like genuinely terrified of this moment. This is like the only the only moment I've been like genuinely can I do this? Like I'm I'm genuinely worried if I can or not. <laughs> I don't know if I can. I can manage it one attempt per Sunday, but I, but I don't, I don't know what else I can do. I feel like this is like the hurdle I have left. I don't know what else I have to do that I can do. That's the problem. This is like the next step I need to take. I don't know what else there even is. I've found so much out. I don't... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh. As Parappa teaches, I gotta believe. <laughs> Hold on, I've got an idea, actually. Would anyone mind if I had a... A brief, a brief interlude from stressful moments. Oh, I'm back to normal size now as well. I'm gonna have like a, a brief interlude because I've just had like the thought of like, what if I just load up YouTube and like watch a cat video and then go back? <laughs> Maybe not actually. I don't know. Oh, like I swap off the current puzzle game to go to an Outer Wilds attempt. I guess I could do that. Because then it's less stressful than like having to try the same thing for hours. Maybe. But I don't, but it's hard because I just, I want to do it. I want to like get this done. I want to know what's going on down there. I want to discover what is happening down in the well. So like I want to do it, but I... I don't know, I'm so shaky. I'm really shaky. Huh. Yeah, this is... Yeah, this is genuinely really difficult for me right now. <laughs> okay, you have cat. Oh, thank you. I appreciate cat. Oh, redeem for a single out single out of wilds attempt during any normal stream. That would be so chaotic. I'd 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 have to load up Outer Wilds. But uh, I, I don't think I'd want to do that. I don't want to do that because, like, there's... I know there's a lot of people who like watching my Outer Wilds streams. And I would feel so bad if I ended up doing it in a non-specified Outer Wilds stream. And then anyone who was interested in seeing Eight. me do it misses it. Like, if that makes sense. Oh, what, what do I do? What do I do? Who? <sighs> Ooh, much to think about. All right, because what else is there? I still got like the achievements list, I guess. I could try and do some silly achievements. <laughs> huh. I didn't expect this to affect me like this much. I'm, I'm like. <laughs> I'm like surprised myself. Ah, uh, 
mentioned using music earlier to help calm down while doing it. It was more of like a joke, but I, I guess I could try that. Like put on some happy music in the background to inspire me to to not be stressed out. Or I could just make it worse and put on like Hall of the Mountain King. <laughs> also, thank you for the hair change, Redeem. Yeah, I'm a bit ruffled now, I guess. I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> get it. You ruffled my hair up. That was so bad, I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah, I'm like, I, I genuinely, I'm not sure what to do here because like, I desperately want to do this. I desperately want to do this, but I'm also, like, I'm not upset, but like, I can feel, I feel like I'm about to burst into tears. <laughs> like, just as like a nerves, instinctive body mechanism, I feel like I'm about to burst into tears. And I feel like that's not the best way to enjoy a game. Like, if I, if I'm feeling so stressed out, I feel like I'm about to cry. That's probably not the best, but... <laughs> Oh, adventure line would break tension. <laughs> yeah, I just gotta follow the adventure line along. It'd be fine. Huh. Put on Halo music and pretend it's a shooter. <laughs> no, I already tried that. I already tried, like, blinding them. They did not care. They just blew my candle out. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Completely understand that feeling, though. Yeah, it's like, it's like the the worst feeling because I I hate feeling like I'm about to cry, especially when I'm not like upset or anything. It's just like the the physical response of my body to like stressful situations is to burst into tears, <laughs> and like I can feel it. I can feel like the welling up behind my eyes, like I'm about to start crying, and I do not want to start crying because that would suck. I'm not a fan of crying. I know a lot of people are like, oh, but crying is great. It can be cathartic. I, I don't like it. I don't like crying. I prefer just simply not crying. <laughs> also, Frozen Fire, hello. Yes, I am at the fright section. I, I am at the fright section and I'm shaking a lot. I, it's affecting me a lot more than I thought it was going to. <laughs> but uh, I'm, at the, I'm at the part of the DLC with the well. And I figured out how to turn off the lights around the well and get there. But all of that area is really, it's really like affecting me more than I thought it would at the moment. So it's, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah, I think if, if anyone has any tips and ideas, then I will accept them at this moment. I'm just not sure like whether it would be entertaining to continue. Like, I, d I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want everyone to just be sat here being like, oh, well, I, I feel so bad watching this. I feel bad for her. Like, that doesn't feel like it would be entertaining. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, ultimately can skip by looking up the reveals online. But yeah, yeah, but I don't want to do that. I, w I want to do it. I'm just... I think I'm just a little bit frazzled at the moment. I'm a, I'm a bit too frazzled to to like go out there and do it right now. I think I need I need a little bit longer to calm down. <laughs> but yeah, I think probably part of the problem is the fact that I've been kind of doing this non-stop for like 3 hours. Like I've for 3 hours I've been focusing on this area and this well. So I probably need a, a second to just disengage slightly. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, I, th I think I do know what I have to do. I think I'm probably right with like duking them, like run around in a circle. But I, <laughs> but I'm just scared of doing it. I'm just scared of doing it. It's okay. Who? Oh, take my time. It's definitely rough. Yeah, this is the... I've got to say, like, I, it makes me really glad that I did figure out the Matrix thing so soon in the game by accident. Because if it's meant I've avoided a bunch of situations like this, that is... 
that is best scenario. That is <laughs> that is the best scenario for me. But I think a little part of it as well, though, is like the sound the alarm makes. Like the fact that the alarm has that like really blaring siren, it kind of just activates all of the the panic neurons in my brain, like th that specific siren sound, <laughs> which doesn't help when it's like flashing red going, rrr, rrr. it's, it adds to the, the like the, the pressure stress. Oh, you certainly spent a lot of time in VR mode, carefully planning a route for that section. Yeah, it's like, I, I know the, the vague direction on which to go in. I know which way I have to go. And then I go up and I go around. But when it's in the dark, I can't accurately judge which direction I'm going in. I don't know if I'm going the right way. <laughs> and that, And then I just like step off into the water and I'm like, well, that was a big old waste of time. Yeah, I think I think it, it was very much wishful thinking with me going to the third area and hoping I can do everything in like the few minutes before um, the sun explodes. I don't think that's the ideal solution here. I think I do need to be sticking with entering from the second area because that gives me more time. Like if I do get caught, I can go back in and I'm not wasting a lot of time trying to like faff around with rafts i i need to like i just i just like need to calm down to a point where i can like dedicate myself to like okay i'm gonna get caught i'm gonna die but it's okay and i'll go back in <laughs> i think i can do it no i know i know i can do it i'm like i said at the start of the stream like if if there's one thing i'm good at it's being really stubborn and persistent but uh, but I just need a second to uh, decompress a little. I'm uh, <laughs> a little shaken. Uh, do I know what reduce frights does? Would I like to? Uh, I was I was going to ask earlier, but uh, mods have said it's like slightly spoilery. So like, if that's the situation, I don't want to know. I've just put it on to see if it will help me. But uh, I'm. But like I, I, I do have a plan of action. I have a I have an idea of what I have to do. I think I do know what I have to do. It's just making sure I'm in the right frame of mind to do it more than anything. I'm I'm not in that frame of mind at the moment. <laughs> I'm in panic brain. My brain's got all the alarms going off at the moment. I need to relax a bit. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna have a quick look. I wonder if there's any other silly achievements I could try and do. Hmm. Ooh, I... Ooh. What if I try and enter Giant's Deep Ocean fast enough to break through the current? That seems like a really terrible idea and thing to attempt. I kind of want to do that. Oh, there's also, there's still an achievement as well, which is uh, bring an artifact back to the museum. I tried doing that with the artifact from the DLC, but it is a base game achievement, so... I'm wondering if the warp core would be a good idea. Like, if I... If I head to the sun station and grab the warp core and come back and give that to the museum. That might be quite funny. <laughs> I could give that a try. Also, Sammy, hello. Welcome, welcome. How was my time at Ofkai? Oh, it was great. I had such a blast. I, It went too quickly. Like, I was only there for like half an hour on an iPad and then half an hour with the panel. And I wish I could have been there longer. It was really fun. But yeah, it was a really good time, though. Uh, take it easy, then experiment. Yeah, I think that's the plan at the moment. I think I'm going to step away from the stranger for a little bit. We're going to try... Try do some silly little things for a bit. Maybe I can try and send the, the model... The model ship... Into the sun. That could be fun. If I just hold up, 
then maybe it'll reach the sun eventually. Where are you going? I'm going. I wonder when the sun will get there. I'm just going up. I'm just holding the right trigger. I'm just going to send this thing up as far as I can. And hope that it flies into the sun. I'll just leave that here while... Oh, hey, it's the Atoll Rock. Hi. I see it. Ah, uh, was it more crowded than last year? I The part that I went through, I went through like the vendor's room and the artist's alley and it was incredibly busy as I walked through. Oh, I'm... <laughs> it makes me feel so happy to hear this music. I think I needed this music. I needed this music right now. This is what I needed. I needed to hear this. This is... <laughs> This is, this is what I've needed right now. This is what I need. To have a little break. Just relaxing on Timber Hearth. Having a lovely time. Having a really nice time. Just relaxing, looking at the tree. I don't know where this tree's coming from. Am I moving? Because all I'm doing is controlling the rocket. But I'm seeing a tree now, so I'm just... I'm going to go with it. It's very calming. But yeah, it seemed very, very busy. But it seemed like everyone was having fun as well, so that was good. Oh, hopefully I can come by next year. I hope so too. I really want to as well. I'd love to go to Off Guy. It's the plan. I'm aiming for next year. Fingers crossed. And yes, I am part of Studio Elan's ambassador program. I, I am now officially a bellflower. Which I think is a really cute term. It's like all the ambassadors are called bellflowers. And I, I really like that. I don't even know if this is like going to do anything. I'm just... I've sent it into the stratosphere. I'm just going to see if anything happens. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, a, I'm an ambassador of Studio Elan now. Basically, Studio Elan is a video games company uh, specializing in Yuri games. And I am now an official ambassador. I'm part of the ambassador program, which means I get to shill all of my favorite games because I love them a lot. And also I get to offer deals to people as well. Like if you want to buy anything on the, the Ellen web store, if you enter the code Leary, just my name at checkout, you'll get 10% off, <laughs> which is really good. It's really nice. Oh, can you suggest a way I might become less scared of the alarm? Oh, I, I would I would be happy to hear a suggestion for that. I would be very happy with that. <laughs> and, oh, the mallow, this might be a good time for it. <gasps> Maybe it would. Maybe it would, yeah. Interesting. Congrats, ambassador for lesbianism. That's me. That's me, baby. <laughs> I do love women. Especially, it's Pride Month now as well. I just realized I haven't actually streamed in June yet. Happy Pride Month. Uh, I'm, I'm gay and an ambassador of Studio Ellen. <laughs> but yeah, I, it's, it's really nice. I, I do plan on like adding a, like a, a, a chat command to give handy links and stuff. I've not done that yet. I keep meaning to and then I forget. So there will be something like that soon where you can bring it up and it'll give you the link and the codes and stuff but uh but yes oh Brie going to that fourth place where I know it's safe and interacting with that alarm there instead could for now could help that's a good idea actually yeah that's if I experiment with that alarm see like what works and what doesn't that is a good shout get used to it like like fully like in like uh, exposure therapy. <laughs> Use it like it's exposure therapy until I'm so used to the alarm that I'm not startled by it anymore. Ah, oh, gotta find an old friend and look through their supplies. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna have a look around. I don't think I've flown the model into the sun. I don't think I managed that. So I'm going to leave that. But, uh, let's have a look around. 
So I'm thinking, like, because there's so much... Hello. There's so much stuff over here. I wonder if there are any marshmallows around. There's a little scout. Wait, this is like the helmet and the, the gloves and the boots. Ooh. Marshmallows. I wish I could eat them. Let's have a look around. Hello! Marl. Chopping the trees, chopping lumber. Nice talking about all the music, which is very nice. Just, I'm just having a look around now. I'm just gonna like have a really nice, gentle tour of Timbal. <laughs> oh, honestly, as soon as the music kicked in there, I, it's actually quite incredible, like how how much it calmed me down. Like, it, it genuinely calmed me down. <laughs> just the music kicked in and I was just like, oh, this is nice. This is so nice. Oh. Otherwise, I'm thinking maybe on the, maybe on the moon, maybe on the Atoll Rock. Have a look there, too. Oh, definitely can share the love for cute girls. Yeah, I, I feel like appreciating women is like a universal thing it's not even just like for people who are attracted to women i feel like everyone can appreciate women also men too it's like i may not be attracted to men but i appreciate men and also non-binary people too i i appreciate them every day i guess i'm, I'm just saying people in general aren't i am <laughs> i'm just here just being like, yeah, people, people are pretty great, because I'm one. Uh. Right, let's head to the... Wait, which way was it to the museum? I think I'm going the wrong way. Uh, oh, Lyra, it won't be helpful in-game at the moment, but you still stand by the, the clench-unclench method to quickly decompress. Oh, I do that all the time. I When when I'm, like, super stressed, I instinctively, like, ball up my fists. I make a fist. <laughs> but yeah, that's something I do, is just, like, tighten up all the muscles and then just go, Ugh. like a Like a puppet with the strings cut, just flop. It does help a lot. But yeah. Yeah, oh, your ace can still enjoy a cute romance story. Yeah, I'm. I really love like in media. It's it's always interesting because people are like, I'll talk about playing an Otome game or something, and people will be like, but uh, why are you playing that? You're not even attracted to guys. And I'm like, well, I still enjoy the fictional media. I still like the stories. I love the characters. <laughs> I don't have to be like actively attracted to them myself to enjoy it. And there are some amazing games. Like, I'm... It's kind of funny because I feel like, as a person, I'm not the biggest romance fan. I'm... Like, I don't want to be in, like, a romantic relationship because I kind of just feel a little awkward. But I love hearing about other people's romance and romance stories. It, it, just, it just makes me happy. I just end up being like, oh, I'm so happy for you. It's... It's nice. It fills my heart. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Love is lovely. Love is lovely. But yeah, I'm trying to think of like an artifact I could bring back to the museum too. And so far I'm thinking either I bring back the warp core or I go to the, the high energy lab where I made the, the time paradox and bring one of those little black hole dealy pyramid thingies I don't know they're the only things I can think of that I could pick up that might count as an artifact <laughs> but I think probably the warp core might not be the best one may not be the best choice 
Oh, it's so nice just going on a wander here. This is so nice. <laughs> I needed this. I needed this piece. I'm already feeling better. This, this is such a lovely place. I love this. I love it. My heart is warm. I love Timber Half. I love being the hatchling. Oh, what would my name be if I was a Harthian? What's my favorite rock? I don't know if I have a favorite rock, actually. It might be cheating to go for like a gemstone. <laughs> Dwayne, wait, no, you're right. Yeah, that's my favorite rock. It's a it's, uh, rock the John Dwayneson. roast a proper marshmallow. Oh, look at that. Perfect. I wish I could just pick up this one. <laughs> just pick up that stick and just be like, yeah, I'm going to eat this one. Oops. Ah. Right, I want to go to the Atoll Rock again. I want to go say hi. To, uh, I've forgotten their name. The one who's stuck on the Atoll Rock who doesn't know it's my first flight today because nobody tells them anything. I'm gonna go see them. Oh, is Sand a rock? Oh, I could say Sandstone. Okay, my Harthian name is Sandstone. <laughs> Redacted. I'm sorry, I'm bad with names. I'm bad with names. I, I just about remember Feldspar. I'm <laughs> I forgot their name. No, I remember Gabbro as well. I remember some names and then not others. Oh, yeah, I don't know what my favorite type of rock is. I'm thinking about this now. I don't know many types of rock. The ones I know are just like through Minecraft. <laughs> Eska! It's me! Talk to you later. Happy to see you. Let's have a look around. Yes, we got the radio. We got a jetpack. More marshmallows up here. I wish I could eat them. Oh, there's so many marshmallows over here. Wait, why is this one like swollen? <laughs> that can is swollen. Is this going to like explode when I try and take a marshmallow out of it? Oh my goodness, I think I found the the marshmallow easter egg that that can does not look like it's going to open safely oh look at that oh i um, it's green it's green look at that oh this is horrible i'm gonna roast it properly and eat it oh look at that It's, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I found it. I'm so glad I spotted it. Yeah, I'm just like, if... <gasps> yeah, that, that kind of swelling is typ typical of heavily expired foods. Yeah, I'm like, if it's looking like that, then there are reactions happening inside that can that probably mean the food is not okay. <laughs> Did they hurt me? I don't know. No, I'm still okay. I'm fine. Right, they might not heal me though. Let's try it. Okay, I'm hurt now. Let's see if it heals me. Oh, 
no, it did heal me. Oh, that's fine. Oh! expired marshmallows without a care in the world oh my goodness hi hi oh my goodness oh thank you thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much this is so funny i'm pretty sure i've mentioned sometime recently like i think i was talking about like tony hawk's games or something and i was like i really missed the days when there were like cheat codes for games and you could just have like a big head mode. I literally mentioned big head mode by name. Oh, this is the best. This is the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for leading me to the marshmallows. That, oh, that's so good. That's so good. Hold on, I'm going back to, back to Timber Hearth. Where is it? Okay, where is Timberhearth? There it is. I'm gonna crash into the, the outer rock if I do this. Hold on, there we go. Hey! Oh, that's so good. That's so good. I did! That's when you knew I had to see this. I did. I did. That has filled me with joy. I've completely forgotten all of my previous terror now. That is like the the ultimate cure for adrenaline pressure stress. Just give me a big head mode and I'm, I'm, I'm fine again. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's so funny. Oh, I love that. I love that so much. Right, I wanna, I wanna find more people. I'm going the wrong way. This is not where the people are. Where are the people? This way? This way? This way! This is where the people are. Oh, let's land! Where is my launch pad? Hold on. Oh, oh, I got caught on a tree. Oh, I'm fine. I don't remember where my launch pad is. Oh, it's right here. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. There. There we go. Perfect parking. Perfect parking. But oh, I, I, I do wonder if it that would affect the, the Alks as well. Because that would be so funny. Hi! Hello! Ah, oh, this is great. Everything is fine and great. Look at you. Hi. I am absolutely fine. I don't know what you're talking about. My health is the most full it has ever been. This is, this is healing my soul. Thank you. <laughs> my soul is so, oh, hi. They're so cute. Wait, they're... they're so cute. I love the Harthians so much. They, they have such sweet faces. I just want to give them a hug. Oh, I love it. I love this. Hi, oh, hi. Oh, I'm... Hello, look how big your ears are. Oh, oh. that's the cutest thing. Oh, my <laughs> thank you so much for the chibi redeem. Oh my god, we all have the big heads now. Big head mode for real. Oh, this is nice. I'm just here. Like they're so cute. They're all so cute. I don't know if they'd get offended if I called them cute. But they are. They're so cute. I love this. Oh, I want to go to the museum. I want to see if... 
Okay, no, the sun's about to explode. But I'm wondering, like, if it'll affect anything in the museum. After having the marshmallows. I might make it there. Okay, it doesn't affect the statue. Does it affect anything else in here? How about the anglerfish? No, the anglerfish is still regular sized. I'm very glad to see that. Oh, that is the best though. I'm so glad. I love expired marshmallows. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That are yes, yeah, some some of them look a lot more normal than others with the massive heads. Some of them look very silly. That oh, it's so good. Oh, still thinking about my Harthian name. Oh, is there anyone called Halite? Because that's pink sometimes. Ooh. Yeah, there is How. But I, I do love the thought of just uh, calling myself Sandstone. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was a good loop. That was a healing loop. I'm very happy about that. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me about the expired marshmallows, because I was so curious ever since you mentioned it. I like how so many of my memories of this loop are just eating expired marshmallows and then staring at the sky. <laughs> that was quite a nice cinematic, actually. Oh, can we please put... I love expired marshmallows. Thank you so much, into quotes. Uh, you should be able to do it yourself, I think. It's... Uh, hold on, what is the... What's the command again? I've got it set up so there's an add quote command but I always forget if it's a uh, add quote or quote add I think I added it to my about it should be in like my about section it should say da 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 quote add yes it's exclamation point quote add and then a space and then just you type in the quote and it'll just add it to my my roster of quotes <laughs> but uh, I've got it set up so that Anyone can do it, and I, if anyone misbehaves, I simply delete it afterwards. But yeah, I can, I can do this one. I can add it as a quote. Bam, bam, bam. There we go! <laughs> it's added. What a great quote out of context as well. I love that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, some sandstone kind of looks pink too because of high hematite content. Oh, it would work then. It would work. But yeah, I've, it's really nice. I've got the, the quote system set up. So you literally just type in whatever I've said. You don't have to worry about like adding the speech marks or the game or anything. It it auto adds all of that to you. To the quote, It's it makes it very easy. Okay, I've got normal marshmallows again now. <laughs> oh, that was so good though. Right, the question now is... Do I feel brave? Am I feeling brave? I think I am. I think I am. I think that loot calmed me down enough to give it another try. At least like one more try. I'm feeling confident again. <laughs> but I, I may be a little silly when we actually get to the trying to duke the Alk. I'm gonna give it a try. We'll see how it goes. I believe. I believe. Pyrite, it was used as a flint spark and has the same root as pyromaniac and pyrotechnic. Well, that one definitely wouldn't fit me then. 
Because I've I've never committed arson in my life. <laughs> Right, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. We'll see. I may just run out of there going nope, nope, nope once we get there, but I'm going to try. Also, apparently a lot of that red huge sandstone comes from the Midlands. Oh! I'm from the Midlands. Oh, but fire follows me. It does. That is very true. It's... I don't know how it happens, but the fire always somehow ends up around me. It's 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 like a curse. I've got a little fire curse where I can try my hardest and things will still explode around me. I don't know why it is. Right. I am sticking with area 2. We are we are fully just sticking in area two that is that is gonna be my plan of approach my approach this time is i am not gonna get scared i'm going to expect to die that is my approach i expect to die but i'll go back in i'll get knocked down but i'll get up again they're never gonna keep me down She drinks a monster drink. 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 <laughs> I get knocked down, but I get up again. They're never gonna keep me down. I will survive. Oh, as long as I'm stuck in my loop, I know I'll stay alive. <laughs> Huh. Oh no no die. I will survive. Huh. In I go. In I go. Oh, I'm still hoping for that sound redeem of Xander groaning. <laughs> well, I've I've got recordings of Xander making weird noises. I could I could fully add that as a redeem if I wanted. It would be a little silly. But I like a little silly. And our half of your personality is quoting popular songs in context. I'm I'm so bad at it. I'm I am really good at just, uh, I, I hear like someone says like a phrase and it will make me think of a song and I will just sing that song. I, I can't help it. Like it just like activates an area of my brain where I just then have to sing and I can't help it. <laughs> also little things like if I'm lost and looking for someone, it always ends up being like the Blink-182, where are you? so brave now look I'm, I'm getting so good at this part at least <laughs> this part terrified me to begin with and now I'm just like yeah this is not the terrifying part ah <sighs> uh, you'll have something to say after I'm through this oh thank you okay Give it a try. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing I did before to get to the lift. I'm gonna extinguish everything, jump off the edge. Oh, I'm back to normal size again. <laughs> I'm gonna extinguish this, jump off the edge, come back in because I know the route to the elevator from there and it feels a bit easier. And then I'm gonna try Try and duke that uh, elk. Elk. Actually, I'm having a marshmallow before I do. Okay. 
Okay, now we're set. <laughs> Baby mode over. Now, now I have power. Oh, thank you for brushing my hair out. Wait, I've got the... Oh. Thank you for the outfit change. Oh my goodness, yes. Magical girl time. I'm powered. I'm powered up. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm empowered. I can do this. I can do this. I'm strong. I'm resilient. I have a lot to offer. I am worth it. I am enough. <laughs> what else can I say motivational to myself? I have a few brain cells. <laughs> okay, and now? Now, who's ready for my master plan? Who's ready for my master plan? <laughs> the, yeah, the transformation. I'm in control. Same brain cell. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you for the hydrate too. Yeah, let me have a sip before we head off. Whew, I'm ready. I'm ready. And this is my emotional support. Thank you for understanding. <laughs> Emotional support time. Right. Which are the ways around here? What? There's another way around. There's a, there's a way around here. And there's also the way just across the bridge. I, I can hug the wall here. I can hug the wall here and it's safe. Okay. You are. Come get me. Come and get me. Come and get me. Come and get me. Yeah, come and get me. I'm over here. I'm over here. You're sneaking along. I'm liking it. This way. Yes. I hear the alarm. I'm going the wrong way. Conceal. I got lost. I got lost. There. I am lost. But I've made progress. I go this way. No, you don't see me. I'm not here. I'm going down the stairs. The alarm's still going off. It's okay. It's okay. The alarm's no longer going off. <laughs> Sorry, I had to stop for a second. My my hands are back to shaking. Shaking like a leaf. Shaking like a leaf, but I followed the adventure line. The adventure line led me down here. I am now ready for this room to just be full of enemies and I'm probably going to die again, but I'm going to try my best to find something before they wake me up. I feel like there are gonna be people everywhere down here. I am terrified. Yeah, my hands are shaking so much, but I made progress. keep doing the focus because I can kind of like see their eyes reflect if I do this like they will know I'm here but I can like see the eyes reflect Oh, God. 
codes their paintings. It's gonna be people down here, aren't there? Yeah, there's someone right there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh god, you're right here. Oh no. I made a mistake. I fell. I fell. I fell. I'm dead. I'm dead? I'm not dead. Where am I? Oh god, I fell. I'm not dead. I'm not dead, but I don't know where I am. And I'm... Oh my god. Oh my god. I hate this. I hate this place. I hate this place. What's in here? Also pictures. They are all pictures. I cannot think. <laughs> I, hate pictures. I hate this place with all of my being. I don't know where I am. Oh, it's someone right there! I'm not here. I'm not here. trying to go they are just here I feel like this is the end for me there's no way I'm It's all people, it's the other people. Okay, and can't see me, can't see me. I need to turn the adventure line music off now. I'm a Yes! Oh my god! Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, I didn't think I was gonna do that. <laughs> Unironically, the adventure line music genuinely helped me there. I was not as scared as I was before because I was just I don't know, in my mind I was just like This is the story of a cat named Lily. Lyrie had somehow found herself in quite the predicament. But we know Lyrie, she can get think. out of this situation, can't she? Oh, maybe she can't. She appears to have fallen down a hole. And oh, would you look at that? There are alks everywhere. But wait, she's running. Good job, Lyrie. I'm just like imagining the, <laughs> the narrator in my mind. She can see how much I'm shaking. I'm shaking so much. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of myself. Okay. <sighs> I think I'm going to be safe down here now. I'm hoping. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Okay. Oh. Oh, I'm going to be so careful down here. Artifact. Okay. Yes. Oh, I need to actually find the real. Oops. Uh, hee -hee. Oh. No, please don't fall yet. Please don't fall yet. I can't find a real. Where is this real? There's got to be a real here. Oh, stairs. Okay, three reels. God, I can't see. I should have brought the artifact with me as well. Okay, first reel. Oh. I 
hell? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm still shaking so much. I'm really shaky. I'm really, really shaky. <laughs> It's still really shaky. Okay, here we go. This one's the one with the icon of the eye of the universe. That's the eye. Look at the eye. I scan the eye. Ooh, there's the eye. Oh, it's gone red. Oh, the eye of the universe is going to destroy everything. The eye of the universe kills everyone. Oh, panic. No, what have we done? We followed this eye out here. This is an evil eye of the universe. Oh, what is that? Like, this is an evil eye. Did they, like, block the signal? I think they blocked the signal of the eye of the universe. They made a thing to block the signal. Like, it stops emitting the signal. And then they go stealth mode. Is that all? I'm so used to navigating in the dark now. This is easy. It's fine. Next reel. Brain, brain and artifact. Whoop. Woobly, examining brain waves. Oh. And you are in the new world. Oh wait. Oh god, that one just died. Oh no. <gasps> you don't have to be alive. They just died next to the thing, but because they had the artifact, it still lit up? That's interesting. That also explains, because like... Like, when I, when I entered, I was like, they, they don't look like they're still alive. But they m must still be alive if they're still roaming around in here. They are very much not alive. Huh. Okay. Planet and projection. Oh, oh. What is that? Transmitting? Oh. Oh, that's to like bring them back. Oh, that's what that machine's for. Because I did see that machine in all of the rooms, like where they're all around the edge. Oh, but that's the that's the dead person. Error. That. Oh my God, that's an alarm. That's an alarm. That's an alarm. Oh my god, I think, oh. It's, it's like bashing against the thing. It's making an alarm. So I'm guessing when the alarms go off in the simulation, it makes an alarm go off there. But if you're dead, it won't wake you up. <laughs> I think I know what I have to do. <laughs> Oh my god. Wow, that's so interesting. At first I was like, what's going on here? And then I realized it's like, it's it's hitting that thing with like little hammers. So that's going to be like the way to wake them up. They're woken up with that alarm. And then they're out of the simulation. But you can't do that if you're dead. You're not going to wake up. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, wow. Wow. Is there anything else around here? Yep, and as expected, that is burnt away. Oh, I think I know what I have to do. <laughs> and if I'm right, it's gonna be amazing. Oh, I yeah, I can't go up there if I take the artifact out. I have to put the artifact down if I wanna go up these stairs. Right, I wonder if there's any more reels. Okay, that door's just not open. I guess because the light's on. 
Oh, it's so painful seeing like all of the the racks that I just can't reach. I want to see all of them. I want to watch all of the reels. I want to open that door. Where is that door? Hold on. Can I open that door? Where's that door? That door's like up here. Hmm. No, I don't think there's a way I can get up there. But oh my goodness, I'm... Oh, I'm shaking like a leaf. I am shaking like a leaf. Hua. 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 Ah. That realization. People usually take so long to understand these videos. I understood so quickly. Well, sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I look and I'm like, I have no idea what's going on here. And then other times, like, I'll, I'll go back and forth and be like, hold on. Hold on a second. So I'm guessing that to get across that that bridge with the alarm at the vault, I'm gonna have to like die on the fire, but with the artifact. And then I can just walk across it because it's not gonna wake me up. <laughs> This is so interesting. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Thank you so much, everyone, for the emotional support. <laughs> like, the emotional support helped me inordinately. It helped me so much. Just having, like, the moment to calm down before I try it again. And then just have a, a silly little adventure through the, the halls with the, the roaming. <laughs> them roaming after me. I think it helped, like, shining my light on them. I could see where their eyes were. And they didn't, like, lunge at me or anything. They just kind of walked towards me. So I could, like, run around the opposite way and escape them. Oh, maybe... Maybe it's because I was shining a light in their eyes that they were going slower? Maybe. Hmm. But I am... So glad. I am so glad. I got through this. I got through it. I'm feeling very, very proud of myself. <laughs> huh. So now I know how to open that third vault seal. Oh, I wonder if I have to do all three of them at the same time. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. Great work, thank you. Oh, it was, but reduced frights also helped. Oh, they would have lunged without it when they were next to me. I see, I see. Yeah, that definitely helped me then. I'm glad I turned it on then. If it's just like the situation of them like lunging towards you and being more menacing, then yeah, if, if that had not been on, I wouldn't have gotten through that area. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad I turned it on. <laughs> I feel like I still got the the tense atmosphere even with like the reduced frights option on. Like I like it, it was still terrifying. I was still terrified for my life. So I still got like that atmosphere from it, but that was that was difficult. That was the hardest part of this so far. I'm feeling very happy to have gotten through it. <laughs> Whew. Whew. Right, now what do I want to do now? I don't want to go back up there. Hmm. Maybe I'll just jump off the edge and... I don't think I'll make it to the vault in this loop, maybe. Oh, reduced fright slows them too. Oh, that, that might be it then. Well, I'm glad they were slower. Because I am also slow. <laughs> I, I go at a very slow pace. I... I, I basically just evened us out. I evened the odds because I'm very slow with bad reflexes, so I made us even. <laughs> oh, here we go. The tower's sinking now. All right, back out I go. Oh, 
Oh, that's terrifying. That's not a nice thing to just open my eyes to. It's like a little, yeah, I can see the little hammers now. So when the alarm goes off, that's like their wake up mechanism. I guess, because they, they need something like that. Otherwise, they would just be stuck in here forever. OK, I'm a little bit uh, lost. I, I feel like there was a hole in the roof before, and I can't see that now. Hmm. Maybe not. I really don't like getting so close to these skeletons, I gotta say. Oh, there's the hole. It's it's in the root. It's in the floor of the ceiling. That's why I was confused. Let's go back up to the surface. Oh, I'm so happy. Whew. I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm very happy to have gone through that. Oh, good times. Good times. Oh, that's why people call the option reduced frustration. Oh, that's what <laughs> that's what I needed. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I needed. Oh, I'm so glad I got through that. I'm so glad. I'm glad. I'm feeling proud of myself. <laughs> it would have been so easy to just give up, but I didn't want to give up. I refuse to give up. I'm stubborn and determined, even when I am absolutely terrified and my heart is thumping and my hands are shaking. <laughs> But oh, that whole like patrolly area was so terrifying though. Although I am very amused that like I fell down the hole and I just, I, I was like, oh, I'm dead and I wasn't. Ha, <laughs> ah, there goes a raft. <sighs> yeah, more like reduced fights. You're right, yeah. Just like, can't fight me if you're slow now, ha. Huh? Take that, I'm, I'm gonna nip past you, I'm small. I'm small and speedy. <laughs> oh, and it's almost 1 a.m. Yeah, that's really good timing. That's really nice timing, because I, I don't think I'll have time for another loop. And I also don't know if my nerves would take another loop at the moment. But this is really, really nice, because now I know what I have to do next time. I, I'm pretty sure I know the order to do things in. <gasps> Hold on, I'm gonna... One more marshmallow. One more marshmallow. Yeah. And I want to look at the, the ship log as well, because the log's going to be updated now. Oh, that was... That was definitely the the most difficult time I've had in this game so far, but... I feel so accomplished now. I feel... I feel powerful. I feel so powerful right now. Forbidden Archive. A library full of intact slide reels hidden deep underground. There is a container marked with one of the bolt seals, but its contents have been destroyed. I found a slide reel that shows the stranger's inhabitants analyzing the eye of the universe. Intact slides reveal the construction and launch of a spacecraft designed to block the eye's signal. I found, I found a slide reel that shows two artifacts being lit near a green fire. The first artifact lights after its bearer falls asleep, and the second artifact lights after the bearer dies. I found a slide reel that appears to be some sort of error report. It shows an alarm bell failing to wake up one of the stranger's inhabitants. Oh, I guess if I hadn't figured it out, I'd, my, my ship log would very kindly tell me. So yeah, I guess like the whole alarm signal then is like, it, it's not like killing me or anything. It's just waking me up and force pulling me out of the simulation. So I think with that, what I'm going to have to do is... Okay, so like the first one's easy enough. I just enter the matrix and I've got the bridge to go across. The second one is the one where I have to fall into the void and end up in glitch world. And then the third is like, if I die on the fire, I'll just be able to walk across the alarm bridge and it won't wake me up. So I think my plan of action is what I have to do is I have to die on the fire outside area three I go down to where the raft is I jump off the raft in the loading screen into the void and head over there to the second uh, light up vault thingy 
go across, go across the bridge, which I can do in the Matrix, do the first one, and then just walk across the bridge to the third and do the third one. And that would be all three of them in one go. So long as I don't die. I think that's what I have to do. I think, I think that would work. I think, I think that would be the order I'd have to do it in. To get through it whilst also like, not like cut myself off in a way that I can't reach one of the other ones. I think I have to jump into the loading void first. And then the other two, like, so long as I die on the fire when I enter, I'll be able to do both of those. Okay, I think I have a plan. I have a plan of action. I'm going to quit. I'm going to reset loop. We're quitting to the main menu. And I... I'm gonna call it at that. It's, it's like... 10 minutes earlier than I usually end but I think that's a good spot I think that's a good spot to leave it at <laughs> and yeah the, there aren't many open leads at all now I feel like I've done a really good job of discovering things it's it's why like a little part of me kind of regrets leaving that until last because if I'd had other things I could have done in the meantime between attempts of that it might have been easier but I left that one until last so there wasn't really much else I could do to, like, break up the time. I'm glad I did my little Timber Hearth tour, though. That helped inordinately. The Timber Hearth tour and Big Head mode. <laughs> so now I know. Now I know. If I start getting stressed out by a game, I just need to stop, breathe a bit, enable Big Head mode and listen to the adventure line music from the Stanley Parable. Perfect. The perfect coping mechanism. <laughs> but yeah, it's exciting to, to have the plan for next time too. I, I know how I'm gonna be starting. Cause this time starting was a little bit more vague. I was like, I, I'm not sure how to do what I want to do. I'm, I feel accomplished. I feel so accomplished. Ah. Ah. Good times. Right, anyway, with that, I shall bloop. Let's head on over to here, and I will find a target to send a raid on to. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. Thank you for bearing with me as I had a, a minor breakdown halfway through. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I didn't fully break down. I, I got knocked down, but I got up again. They're never going to keep me down. The power of big head <laughs> the power of expired marshmallows thank you thank you all so much but yes i think it's time for me to go and um decompress a bit uh de-stress a bit i'm gonna go lie down i think <laughs> but that was so fun i'm i feel like i feel genuinely proud of doing that like i know i know i kind of babied out a little bit with the the reduced frights mode but i'm glad i did because i feel like i would have stress myself out too much if I hadn't <laughs> but it was fun thank you right let's let's see who's on to, to send a raid over to who shall we raid who's around who oh wait let's raid peachy let's raid peachy peachel peach peachel peachel I never know how to pronounce her name but uh, I'm going to send you over to Peachy, who is a lovely Seraphim VTuber, who is also really good at, like, really... I don't know how to describe it, but it's like, she's really... She has a lovely art style, which is just... I don't know why, the, the first word that comes to mind is friendly. Like, her art feels very friendly to me. <laughs> she's got, like, a super charming art style, and Peachy's doing an art stream at the moment, so... That'll be like the prime example there. <laughs> but yes, I'm gonna send you over Peachy's way. Yeah, I also wonder what it would have looked like if I went there with the expired marshmallows. I, I don't know if it would have made it better or worse. <laughs> but I did great, thank you. Yeah, that section was so hard. That one was tricky for me, but I, I made it. I made it through, I'm proud. It's the first time a game has really like gotten me like that in a really long time. Good times, though. Good times, though. 
Yeah, something to try next time. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, the thing you wanted to say, uh, this is exactly the thing that the game intended you to learn. To uh, let go of your fear, to realize that dying is nothing bad and you can repeat an experiment. Yeah, it's like it's like the, the darkness and the alarms were the part that got to me. Like, you, you've seen my other Outer Wild streams. Like, I'm not afraid of dying. I've done many, many things to die. <laughs> I don't know why this situation felt different. I don't know what it was Wait. about. Boop. Thank you for the boop. Thank you for the Risa for 26 months as well. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Alan. Lovely to see you. But uh, when I explained the plan before going in, it was exactly what was intended. Yeah, it's, it's like I genuinely don't know what it is that made that feel so different to how I usually do it, because usually I'm just like, well, yeah, I'm, if, if I die, I just do it again and keep trying, because I'm in a loop. Like, what's the problem? But that that bit just got me. It just got me. It... <laughs> but it's okay, because I defeated it. I'm, I'm the stronger one here. I'm, I am I am the cat girl winner here. <laughs> oh, Cal Sandler, thank you. Thank you for being here, too. Thank you for, for dropping in. Right, let's get the raid set up. Here we go. Here's the raid message. If you're subbed, we got the fire. If you're not subbed, but you have channel points, if you have 80 channel points, you can unlock the static version of the emote for 80 channel points. And you can use it for a day. And if you just don't want to do either of those, we'll just use fire. But with that, I'm going to send you over to the lovely Peachy. Oh, drawing a gun at the moment. I see you. <laughs> I love how I was just like, check out the really comfy, cozy art. She has still somehow managed to make the cutest gun I've seen. It's so cute and nice. But oh, thank you! Yes! Redeeming the points for the, the raid message. We all get to have the, the blue fire. Blue fire for everybody. But yes, I will send you over for comfy art times with like the, the sweetest comfy gun. Oh, this gun's everywhere, actually. <laughs> But yes, I am, I'm, that was, it was, it was a tricky time. I, I would be lying if I said it was easy and I'm still kind of shaking a bit, but I am so glad I did that today. I am so, so glad. I'm so proud of myself. But yes, that's it from me for now. I'll be back at various times next week. Schedule will be at um, some point tomorrow. Please look out for it. But that's it from me for now. I'm going to go lie down. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. And until next time, bye-bye.